talk. Don't be a scared. I'm going to be very scared. Just don't don't be a scared. Don't, 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 don't be that way. Come on. Anxiety is very much a thing. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. Also, do you guys hear any tapping on my end? No, nope, you're good. Nope. No? Okay, because I'm, like, drawing just to wait, and I don't want, like, my tablet or keyboard to pick up. Oh, yeah, mute your phones, guys. I did that, yeah. all right? right Mine is already started. muted. Because the yeah, last thing you guys need is a bob on come off, you know? <laughs> oh, my God, Kurt, why? What? Uh, what do you do? Tubs and freaking gripples. You don't know that. <laughs> Alternate, I know, but you told me not to look at the stream. <laughs> I know. I, 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 just... I, I w sorry, I'm looking at it right now. I just want to I see. Just... I look right now. I'm looking now. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> Got to do it. Early day. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to a very special episode of the Expectables. That's all I really got here. I think they, 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 they can all hear you. They it, can all hear it's you. It's special in that there are actually no unexpectables this time. Uh, finally, yeah, that's so I it, it, it was honestly it was honestly it was honestly the uh, week it was honestly the weakest part of the show. It really was. It was. <laughs> wow. Wow. You, you can't. Well, wow. Wow. Uh, wow. 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 Do people do people hear us on stream? Yeah, they 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 do. Can they, okay, yeah, they can do. they hear can they hear you? Hey, chat, can you hear everybody? Can you hear us? Can this you... is the voice of God. This is the voice of a small hear? gnome that is not a goblin. Us all speak now. <laughs> yeah, they can, they, can all, they can all hear you. They can all hear okay, you. Okay, cool. That's good. <laughs> all right, so I guess, I guess we should explain what's happening here for those of you who came in. Um, so Gaijin and, and Zito are, are somewhat absent for the next time. Gaijin's uh, two... in another hemisphere. I mean, it's a good excuse. Yeah. No, that's a good excuse. And Zeno's still uh, in Dallas, not the best excuse. But, um... No, but he's... he's, <laughs> he's... Uh, yeah, Gaijin's away for, for two weeks uh, on vacation. Uh, well, not vacation, he's doing work, I think, or something, too. I don't it's know, a working don't know. vacation. I, I, in I a way, yeah. So we have, we have a bunch of new people here. Who yeah, are... so, uh, just to finish this and Zito, I believe, is doing a game jam as well. Um, so he's very busy. Um, so yeah, we currently have a different group of people. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll go down the line. Uh, Siggy Koo, uh, if you want to say hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, should, should I plug myself now? Or yes! <laughs> yes, I know you'd ask that. Um, okay, you could find me at Siggy Koo on Twitch and uh, Twitter and Mix Siggy on Tumblr. Okay, Dabs, go. Who's next? Go! Go! <laughs> uh, Arkolf. Uh, real fast, real fast. Real you might fast. want to switch over to the actual like game screen, Kurt, because you're still on your. Like, oh, I know. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that for right now. But real fast, I would like to say it's really great that you got uh, Kratos from uh, God of War here to play with us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would like to do a bit real fast with Arkolf here. It's really. Look, Dan. It's. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do Bobby Hill as a son. It's very important. Dan, look, it's a god. That's very interesting, boy. <laughs> Dang, we should get ourselves a godlike house. Yeah! Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Ask your mother. But she's dead! Dead! <laughs> Not the first time, boy. Honestly, <laughs> oh, no. Been oh, there, done that. Okay, dead. <laughs> Literally wearing his ex. <laughs> Where's your, where's your other family, Dad? You know when you hug me and you feel that soft skin? That's them. <laughs> hug me back. Uh, no, Dad, no. Dad. Uh, okay, anyways, go Arkolf, on. Where, where can we find you, Arkolf? <laughs> you can find me at Arkolf on both Twitter and Twitch. I'm so QB Alpha. I'm so glad that Doros's voice actor is here today. <laughs> it's true, though. Give, give, give us that. Dorowski, you shouldn't be making that face all the time. It'll get stuck like that. <laughs> I, I had to. I'm so it's sorry. surreal. <laughs> <laughs> It's funnier yeah. because I usually communicate mostly through grunts, so. <laughs> oh. uh, and then we have uh, Probate, who's a regular uh, to our streams. Hello. 
Hello. Where, you can find can we... me on Twitter at probate. Find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash probate. You can find me on YouTube, The Foolish Dreamer. And I'm the one who made this show possible in the first place. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Clap, 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 clap. We did buy all the books at the beginning of the show. How high, um, how, I will, I will... how high up do you want the throne? We got two inches. <laughs> two inches. I'll throne. let you know when. Yeah, we're out of one, sir. <laughs> I have to say probate. I, I was looking through the comments of, of the most recent episode, The Unexpectables, and someone was asking like a really like, hey, I wonder why, like, when when does this happen? When do the art streams happen? And you responded or something. You're like, oh, at this time. And the person's like, hey, thanks, man. Probate? <laughs> <laughs> da Dad? <laughs> also, since I have everyone in the chat's undivided attention, don't ask me where the money comes from. I have I a question. I have a question. <laughs> Is it yes. where the money comes from? No, how was your day? Eh, it was okay. Okay. <laughs> Got, I did my director for a day thing for Indie Pogo, so. Oh, that's that was, cool. That was Ooh, four hours well spent. I, I went for a walk because there's a giant glowing orb of fire in the sky and it's warm. What? It's weird. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? We got that, we got that we down. Have the same oh, so that's today? where that thing went. We, are, we had nothing but clouds and drizzling rain where Let I. Let us am. have this. It's the only thing we have, probate, please. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the sun in literally three months, so Let I the, want this. Let Canadian have the sun, please. <laughs> Canadians and, have sun now? Yeah. And then last. Last but not least, we have uh, a bird. Colonel Cheru. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I'm Colonel Cheru. You can find me at Colonel Cheru on Twitter and on Twitch. Um, I stream fairly regu regularly. Regularly. Word. <laughs> yeah, words. Um, I'm finishing up school in like two weeks, so Thank I will God. eventually be a full time streamer. Quack, quack. And then I'll go back to school in Feb like the fall but the, the school time yes yeah, you're time. almost done you're almost free yeah it's... i'm almost free so i'm excited looking to hopefully get part that... so... you, you you were the one i was scared for because I, I i went through school like like post-secondary and it's like around this time it's like really stressful so i'm like if i can get Cheru, that that's that would be great but i don't you... want to be like Cheru, Cheru, you have to be here, Cheru. If you're not here, then I'm gonna fail you at D and D class. I think so. you got me last time we did this. Uh, I was actually going through finals, and oh, I think something bad happened around there. that time too. And you're like, Cheru, can you do D and D? I feel like you need it in your life. And I was like, I would love to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging you, please give me the dindis. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give the uh, audience here a bit of a context. So you guys, uh, actually, it's a good kind of segue point. Uh, during Christmas, I wanted to run a one-off with with people outside of uh, the Unexpectables, just kind of to do something fun. Uh, and you guys were who I approached. Um, and we played through a one-off together uh, in this setting 50 years ago in Alavas. Uh, not Alavas itself, but in the world of Alavas. Uh, all the way up in the Northlands. So you guys are in the past uh, in the Northlands uh, and in your previous adventures, you guys went through essentially a, a snowy mansion. Uh, you woke up some ghosts, you woke up some armor, you killed the armor perpetually by reviving it and killing it and then reviving it again. That was fun, okay? Let us have some fun. <laughs> I watched. I'm guilty. <laughs> you did a slip and slide adventure in a ballroom to which uh, poor Osir probates lizard folk had a very terrible bad day. He got uh, a very unfortunate piercing that day. On his tail, yeah. But it looks no. radical now, okay? It's pretty kick-ass. Um, there was also the greatest enemy of all time, uh, Stairs. Uh, <laughs> you guys found a, a plunger of wonder. You also found some dresses. And in the end, you approached the ghost of the uh, of the mansion. Uh, and uh, Valcinian, our, our very clever gnome, transformed into the lady of the house and mm -hmm. made out with him to convince Hi. him to stop his, his ghostly ways. And eventually he released his spirit by destroying an orb that was holding his spirit in the mansion. Uh, to be fair though, the uh, whole destroying the orb, releasing his spirit to the afterlife proper thing was kind of vague and yeah, we may have just consigned him to oblivion. Or just like, oh well, but also it's Alavas in the past. In the end. So That's all that matters. Just want you Al to know. Alavas. Yeah, I, I had it still. I had it. 
All righty. So if we want to jump over uh, into the game, we will get started. Real then. quick, while before, because that's it's hard seven, I would like to take a moment and do some bit callouts and subscription callouts. Go for it. it. Do I it. would like to. What? What was wrong? Do it. Do it. Someone just say, damn it. I don't know who that is. No, they is. said, do it. Do it. <laughs> Yakuniku <laughs> Party. 2,500 bits. It's a D&D &D stream that I'm not working and I, that I'm not working, but also I'm also not behind on because it's a one shot. Huzzah! Dark Box 0505. Thank you for the three month resub. I'm so excited for this episode. What has Monty planned for this episode? A Galus. Thank you for the 500 bits. Skilly Jack. Thank you for the five month resub. 321 Ajima. Thank you for the eight month resub. Colonel Chero on D&D. &D, but who will call the police when there's a bit murder now? Also, have fun, everyone. <laughs> Uh, Scalfar, 500 bits, birthday, birthday, howdy do, Penguin Man, 0913, 1,000 bits, bits for the sponsor of everything, pro-baked, Woosel Moosel, 1,500 bits, cheer, RC Wheeler, 34, thank you for the 9-month resub, Equinox X4, thank you for 8-month resub, hey, look, it's been 8 months, thank you so much for the subscription, baby, Inferno, Inferno, uh, 500 bits, cheer, 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 cheer. Gino Kaze, thank you for the six month resub. Uh, Monkey D Luffy 505, thank you for the eight month resub. Yay, thank you so much for the subscription, baby. Uh, and Mikhail, thank you for the nine month resub. And that, I believe. Oh, Dark Fox. Uh, no, that should be it right now for any of the bit callouts. I want to thank you all so much for swinging by this one. Just so you all know, in two weeks, we will be getting back to the regular session, and you will have no idea what my sister is planning for next weekend next week's episode because i also don't know which is fun no one will know which is no fine all right knows. brother you could have a session but you shall not know what takes place in it i'm like mm, seems to be a devil's gambit i accept oh codename chaz thank you for the 1000 bits and gore star 7 thank you for the eight month resub happy subscription baby i'm only here for monty it's okay so am i you'll have what? three subscription babies i'm so proud of you i girl. know i just <laughs> muziki uchiha hey how's it going 500 bits last stream for a month gotta go pay, play soldier no internet sadly oh i'm sorry to hear that muziki uchiha but thank you so much for swinging by and thank you so much for the plushies Alrighty, uh Nadine, oh my god I yes okay by the way i am now going to disappear and mute myself on obs you guys ha you kids have fun i'm gonna switch over Ooh, actually there we go. You also need to be able to hear the audio from the desktop from Roll Twenty because there's audio. Yeah, so I, I, I know. I, be aware I, that, of that. That, that. That is fine. I'm mute. I'm muting my mic. Uh, real fast. I'm muting my mic on these things, so I'll be still be around, guys. Already hitting that mute button. Okay. So bye. Bye, Goodbye. Taco. Bye, Taco. Bye. How Goodbye. have I lived for that for so long? He's gone. <laughs> Oh, great! Now he's gone! Let's talk Heart. shit about him. Oh, shit! <laughs> he's gone! He's back! Short-lived. All right! So, first of all, let's 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 pick something up real fast here. Let's put you over here. Oh, my goodness. So! Oh. Oh. Is that the burning remnants of the mansion? Wait, no. That, that is the orb of Cozy. Um, <laughs> it's on so, fire. <laughs> I love it. When last we left our heroes, you guys had just left the mansion, and you are now caught, once again, in the less violent, but still cold and bitter winter. At this point, the silhouette of the shambled, broken-down mansion is behind you. And up ahead, a blinding, rolling white hills of snow. Ugh. Wow, Let's we sure have a lot front. to look forward to. Yeah. It's just white. It's just sheets of white. You can see blue sky, a bit of cloud in the in the sky. It, it's day. Uh, oh, it's sunny it, out. Yeah, it's, there's some sun, uh, but the snow blindness, it's reflecting off the snow. It's kind of hitting your eyes. It's a little bit harsh. Uh, Snowflower, since you're the tallest, um, I'm going to have you roll a perception check here. All right. Okay. You look up, you look around, you kind of just like survey, like kind of going all the way around in a circle, like 180 degrees. <laughs> um, and you manage to catch something in the snow a fair distance off, uh, kind of near a, a patch of a few scattered uh, pine trees. Uh, as you guys are walking, poor Valsinian, being very short, you are currently up to your neck in snow. You are just kind of like <laughs> swimming through it at the moment. Should I put him on my shoulders so he? Oh, fear will move. reach down and pick him up by the scruff of his neck. <laughs> I would say out to the frying pan and into the fire, but this is a bloody freezer. You How do you think I feel? <laughs> yes. 
Kind of stinks for both of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Does the orb of, is the orb of cozy still warm? Someone give it to him. It is still warm. Uh, who had orbs of cozies? Uh, there were three of them. I uh, had one. So you guys do have three orbs of cozy, which which basically they don't protect you from the cold, but they do give off a nice warmth to them that you could kind of like tuck it in your jacket if you. It's need the to. only reason I'm still mobile. Yeah, you're holding on to that. You can make a really awkward necklace with it if you really wanted to. <laughs> How big are these things? They're about the size of like a a small bowling ball. Like you know that there's like the big giant ones and there's like the kids ones. It's like the size of like a kid's size bowling ball. So it's still really big. Big ass thing. orb. Those oh, so are yeah, 90s bling big. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like a crystal orb essentially. It, it's about the size of a crystal orb. Okay. Um I don't think I have one, but if I, I did, I give it to you. I think I had one. Should I I'll make say, a bitch and pommel for my ball? I'll say, Oster, you have one. Snowflower, you have one. And I will say, uh, Ghost, you have one as well. I'll so, give mine away. I'm okay in the do. cold. Okay. Yeah, you got your poofy owl feathers. You're, you're pretty comfortable. Uh, <laughs> they're kind of like flowing in the wind. Your cheeks are getting puffed up uh, underneath your helm, but you are, you are, you're pretty comfortable. All of you, for the most part, are used to the north lands for the most part, uh, beyond the fact that it does get quite cold, um, but you're a little bit more resilient. Uh, Snowflower in particular, you are, this is your, this is your song and dance. This is tropical weather. This is my time. land. This is my city now. Can't stop me. Uh, but you do notice something off the far distance in some trees on the ground, but you can't exactly see what it is, but you notice a break in the sunlight echoing up against the snow. Okay. Um, I want to go over to what I saw, because I'm actually kind of like, that looks weird, Even, especially after we got out of the house. As you guys are exchanging your orbs of cozy, you see Snow or Flower just boom, 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 start walking away off off kind of the course you guys are on at the moment. I'm going to nudge the group and uh, follow Snow. Okay. You follow guys the follow the the land. <laughs> you guys follow behind snow that basically kind of comes up to um, to snow flowers, like maybe above the knee. For you guys, it's like average height. It's like waist deep. And Valcinian, you need to ride on someone's shoulders, or else I'm you're carrying just him. Go you're carrying him. Of his neck. Okay, you're like holding him out, like like all the way out, and you're kind of leading him like a lantern. Wait, um, is, is snow so big? He actually makes the snow like not hit anyone who's behind him. He's like a shield of like from the snow like you're a like snow a snow plow. plow yeah you're like you're just <laughs> you're making a bit of a path but that's how deep the snow is even with you kind of going past there's still enough behind you that it's quite deep yeah um i mean these are untracked lands and also that blizzard you have no idea how long that blizzard's been going for so the stockpile of snow is, is pretty significant uh as you approach the clearing uh, you see footprints, actually. You see what looks like padded down snow and, and sets of footprints that kind of lead off into the distance. I would like to roll uh, survival to identify these footprints. For sure. I'll do the same thing. 16. Ah, uh, he doesn't- he doesn't know fuck, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, snow flower. Snow. Yeah. You, you you stand there, you go, it's just more snow. What is this? Uh, Oster, you get down kind of on your, your hands and knees. You like go and you lean forward. You kind of narrow your lizard folk eyes and kind of turn side to side. You kind of take some of the snow and you taste it a bit. Uh, it appears to be penguin tracks, but larger um, based off of how deep they're going into the snow, heavier as well. Uh, and they seem to kind of lead off to the uh, north west. Uh, well, considering off here has no way of really knowing what a penguin is, he hasn't spent that much time in the Northlands. It's a There's fat some bird. Kind of, some kind of odd bird. Weird gait. Heading north. You could taste all that just with <laughs> with the snow? When you've hunted beasts as long as I have, you pick up a thing or two. By eating what it's... Such is the taste pen. of feet, apparently. So you're sure it's a penguin? I don't know what that is. It's I just a, know it's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a, it's a bird. Can I roll a survival or a perception check to check out these tracks and whatnot? Oh, uh, that would be survival, I'd say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. You being, you being a Kenku yourself, um, granted, 
an owl kenku. You look at these tracks, you look closer, and it's not an animal. Um, it, it is definitely some sort of penguin kenku. You, you know of them. They kind of live in secluded villages. Um, they tend to be very friendly, very, very nice, jovial people, um, very respectful of the land, respectful of your god, Aspa, as well. Um, so to see tracks here means that there's probably a civilization nearby, um, which is good for you, considering you are trapped currently in the snow landscape. Guys, there's probably a village nearby. We should go check it out. We can restock on supplies, maybe wait out a little bit of this wonderful weather. It's so gorgeous today. But for you guys, uh, I understand. We should probably head that way, though. A warm hearth, fresh meat, I cannot resist. Oh, yeah, yes, let's there's go. definitely warmth, please. <laughs> All right. Oh, so wait. you guys start following the tracks? Or? You know it. Yeah, but before we start going, can Snowflower bring um, uh, Valsinian and Asir under his like cloak, and he walks with them like he's a <laughs> like a tent, a walking if, tent. If he lets them, if, do you guys? <laughs> you could let... probably only fit Valsinian under there. I'm seven feet myself. Asir's pretty tall. You could probably do it with Ghost and and Valsinian, the gnome and the kinku. Yeah, can you perch on your shoulders. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take this, hand over Valsinian. Yeah, you have you currently have Valsinian on one shoulder, you have the bird like perched like on the other. Kind of big claws, but you have that sort of thick fur uh cowl to you, but you guys manage to lumber forward. Gives you a bit more uh viewpoint as well, uh uh ghosts as Sweet. you're a bit taller. Uh, so you go lumbering through the snow. Um, it, it's kind of at that season where you'll walk and like you'll you'll step on a piece of snow, but then suddenly it breaks beneath you. Uh, so it's obvious there's layers of ice beneath that are kind of melting beneath the snow. Um, and as you lumber forward, uh, you all of you uh, see what looks like um, smokestacks, like little fires kind of burning in the distance, uh, pillars of whites and, and blacks um, in the far distance. That Is that the way you want to go? All right. Okay. I you mean, guys... unless you guys want to hang out in this snowstorm. No. By all means, I'm a fan of that idea. If you really mm. like my hugs, I don't mind. So. <laughs> I There's more of a cozy can only do so much. Please let us find a fire. Not a you bloody are... chance. Go. Ow. As you are walking, you're noticing that the orbs of Cozy are actually getting colder um, as you've been leaving the mansion. So their, their power doesn't seem to be infinite um, at this point. Given that you broke the main one, uh, it probably <laughs> is like a battery charger. It's kind of like now fading out. Um, as you guys approach further, you begin to see the roundings of, of buildings. Uh, the chat is pretty lost due to people not being able to put voices. Okay. Um, so... Sorry. Um, so as you guys are approaching, you see essentially rounded igloos, um, tents, a, a few wooden buildings, um, and you see smokestacks now getting closer and closer. Uh, the tracks you guys are following at this point kind of lost track of them. You're kind of going on your own set path, uh, but you do see a village. Uh, and past the village, you see a large mountain. Um, not massive, massive mountain, but kind of like a nice little hill sort of framing uh, this village, village kind of coming around. It actually looks like um, for you, Ghost, as you're sitting on top of Snowflower, um, it looks like it's blocking most of the snowstorm. It's blocking a lot of the wind. So it's kind of protecting the village in that way. Okay, what was this? Oh, it's a village. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. The village itself is blocking the snow. Got it. A village with a wind break. Hooray. More, more or less. It's it's a natural break to it. It's a natural mountain shape. Oh, that's cool. So, mm -hmm. so do you guys want to go up the beautiful mountain, or do you want to go into the, the village? I swear if you describe this weather as beautiful one more time, I will eat you raw. It is very beautiful this time. <laughs> but it's snowing. <laughs> that depends entirely. Are you going to cause another avalanche? Uh, mm, I will stop hey, talking That was now. a mistake. <laughs> Don't be mean. <laughs> it was an accident, I swear. That avalanche cost me an entire wolf's worth of meat. Uh, I'll get you a new wolf. Me? <laughs> This poor Al Kenku on your shoulder just starts poofing nervously, like, oh shit, I did that. It's no flower, perhaps, ghost. It's okay. <laughs> Big Goliath hand comes and starts patting you on the shoulder. Pat, pat, pat. All right. Uh, as you guys press on forward, Oster, I'm assuming you're kind of leading the way. 
Yeah, basically side by side with Snowflower at this point. Okay. I want you to roll a perception check. Um, since you don't really have two people on either side of you currently talking with you at the moment. Yeah, 12. Okay. Through the snow, as you kind of narrow your lizard eyes and kind of like lean down on like kind of like one foot, you lean forward, you see a very large form enter the village, like very big, definitely not um, your guys' size. Um, something, something strange about it. It just seems to lumber into the village through the, the streaks of white of the snow. You can barely make it out. I wish to use survival to see if I can identify a bite based on smell. I'm going to say knowledge of nature. Nature? Yes. I... Oh. 14. 14? Um. Um, it appears to be a polar bear. <laughs> that has just walked into this village. Um... And your guys' knowledge uh, from your you, Snowflower, Valcinian, not so much, and, and definitely uh, you, Ghost, being a Kenku, a delicious morsel. Uh, polar mm -hmm. bears generally aren't particularly friendly. They tend to be very aggressive towards getting food and tend to attack villages, um, especially during the very, very cold seasons, quite frequently. Althea draws his great sword. It's time for you to make good on that promise to replay, repay my meat. What? Mm. We got do we, do all of us see us. the polar bear now, or no? You don't see it. Also, just pulls out his weapon, like just grabs <laughs> like, can his I, phone, just can, grabs his sword. He's like, "You're getting me a wolf!" And he just can I do nature as well to see if I see it? <laughs> it at this point, it's passed, so only okay. Oster caught a glimpse of it. You just kind of turn. You're like, "Oh, it's a village." Yeah. <laughs> no flower like grabs Oster's shoulder before he does anything. We just got here. Don't do that. No ruckus. But there's a bear. A bear? Where? Where? It's in the snowstorm. I feel like I'm looking at one of those drawings that people do, where it's just a blank piece of paper. That's generally just a blank piece of paper. We, we just made it to the village, please. Oh, but I'm hungry. Yeah, that fur looks so warm. We could find a restaurant. Jeez. Well, you'll be fine. Just be patient. There's bound to be food in the village, and I'd rather them not kick us back out into the snow. Please and thank you. That yeah, gnome got it. <laughs> or the edible in the village. We could would probably be doing these people a favor, and you don't believe them. All right, where'd you see a bear? I don't see the bear. Try pointing yes. it out. Didn't see the bear, but I certainly smelled it. You... Oh, I didn't see the bear, but oh, I smelled the bear. I see. Do you know if it's a... A bear is there, or past bear, where the bear was there, but not there now. Where I'm bear? Didn't smell bear a picnic where? basket. <laughs> you guys are getting colder and colder as you laugh at your own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> we are quite hilarious. Fine. Be attacked by this strange Arctic bear. It's not strange. It's native here. Really, it's not, not a native here, though. All right, let's go to town. Jesus. Okay. Right, uh, Oster, I jump off of snow and I'm gonna walk. All right, <laughs> took your your bird legs land in the snow. Your little owl tufts kind of pop up, alert, and you begin to move forward, ghost. Um, as you guys uh, approach the village, it it it's not. There's no walls besides the mountain kind of flanking around it. Um, there's no walls, and it looks like a lot of the lodgings are somewhat temporary. The there are. are large wooden homes they look kind of like like communal sort of areas like maybe for cooking and whatnot um but overall it looks like a very much a, a temporary lodging uh, sort of uh, situation and as you approach you begin to hear growling and snarling um and as you walk oster in particular i'll assume you're kind of leading the way you set your hand on a big piece of ice that's kind of near the village it's kind of just sitting jutting out and you place your hand on that ice, your claws kind of digging into it. And you slowly turn and look into the ice and you see currently encapsulated in this pink ice, a penguin kenku, frozen solid, completely staring up, beak open, completely solidified. Is this how you store penguins for eating? No, you don't no. do this. Uh, can it looks I... convenient, but no. What do I roll to check out what the heck happened? Uh, knowledge Arcana. Oh, I'll do the same thing. 
I will do it as well. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we have, make sure to call it your rolls too, by the way, as you guys are, oh, are rolling. 18. Seven. Ghost. Natural one. Perfect. So, Snowflower, you just look and you're like, shit, penguins are nice. It's just they go together really well, I guess. Um, Valcinian, <laughs> your, your expertise of magic, you are not used to snow magic at all. Um, you're, you're very much new to this area, but um, Ghost, your religion as well as just your general understanding of the Northlands, this appears to be some sort of magical ice. Um, you're not sure if it's blight ice, which is a huge problem in the Northlands, but it appears to be a some some form of magical ice. The fact that he was frozen so quickly uh, indicates this. And as you kind of span the village, you see more and more penguin kenku encased in ice, little fluffy baby penguin kenku trapped in little blocks of ice. And you see coming around a corner a bear lumbering forward and snowflower you've 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 talked to polar bears before but you've never seen a polar bear where its entire head has been encased in ice almost like armor with saber-like features of icicles coming down and it currently looks like it's searching for something it goes over to an area just begins to dig aggressively towards a tent and you hear a voice and start to scream "Ah, no no what do you i told you that was a bear yeah! Okay. Okay. Ah, wait! Uh, wait! Oh. I grabbed oh, okay. my and I charged the bear. All right. As you um, charge the bear, you see that there are actually some more. Let me grab some battle music here, super fast here. More bears. Oh, oh my God, that bear! Bears, 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 bears. <laughs> Multiple bears. Actually, Time to take out volley bear. <laughs> okay, I need this everybody to bears. roll initiative for me, please. We should probably drag our icons over too, yes. Yeah, I got your icons, I got you. So let's put Oster right here at the front because he is going all the way. And then Valcinian, you are still on Snowflower's shoulders. So we'll just say for the sake of that, you kind of slide down as we approach. That's an initiative value of 20, everyone. Valcinian rolled a nine for initiative. Okay. Snowflower rolled a six. I got a 19. Okay, did that show? Uh, yeah, it shows. Okay. Sometimes it's a little bit of a delay, so... Yeah, it yelled at me and said it didn't show, and I was just <laughs> making sure. Okay, so we have Oster, we have Ghost. Uh, maybe just to reiterate for the audience, uh, who are you playing and, and what are they? I um, am playing a fear, the albino iguana lizard folk. Um, I'm playing Ghost, the snowy owl kenku. Um, I'm Are you playing... playing... Oh. oh, sorry. No, you go. <laughs> oh, all right. I am playing Valcinian Velmoon, the gnome sorcerer. And I'm playing Snowflower Succulent, the Gol- Goliath Druid. Oh, we were supposed to give the first and last name? I'm Ghost Pendred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Pendred. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, Sheru, what's your, what's your um, dexterity modifier? Zero? Zero? Unless you're talking okay. the thing underneath. All right, I'll put them after you then. All right, Oster, you are you are so ready for action. You come charging in. This bear is currently digging, and as he's digging, he it puts its mouth down and grabs the foot of this poor uh, penguin Kenku who is like just screaming. He's just freaking out. He's wailing. He's got a mace in his hand. He's swinging at this thing, but he can't do anything. He's so scared. What are you doing? All right, so. Uh, this little corner of the tent here, that's not going to hinder my movement in any way, is it? Uh, yes, it actually does take up its space, so you'll have to go around it. Right there, then. Yeah, oh, there's three. Move there. yeah, you, you move around the bear, you kind of slide around your tail, skittering on the ice. Yep, and... Great sword. You swing, and as you take your great sword and you go for a swing, you're like, oh, this is an easy hit, it's a bear. But you, <laughs> you hit ice. And you pull back your sword. Really, this thing has ice just growing out of certain parts of its body at the moment. Yeah. Can't that. cut. Uh, that brings it to Ghost. It is now your turn. Okay. Um, give me a second. Okay. Um, I 
I'm going to... I'm just going to run up to the one that... Let's see. How do I measure how far something is? Uh, on the sidebar to the left there is a measuring stick, so... Oh, thank you. Yeah. Make sure to click back to your selector there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if I run the full 30, can I still attack? Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for uh, the middle bear there by the fire. Okay, there's currently a middle bear currently... Like, it looks up the moment it hears Oster, like, just, ah, come running and screaming. Um, the bear kind of looks up, and you run charging towards it um, with, I assume you have a mace, I believe, correct? I have a warhammer. You have a warhammer, that's right. I'm going to swing at this mofo. Okay. Going for the ice on his face. Um, and I just roll click, for... click, click the Click the weapon in your, your sheet. So just click the weapon that's listed in your sheet. There you go. That absolutely hits. Okay. So click Warhammer in the chat box and it'll show your damage. Oh. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Ooh, nice. That's a really good roll. So that's 10 points of damage there. Haha! -ha, take this, you bear. You just run over and you manage to smash off half of the chunk of ice on its face. This little owl just like, like going crazy, running up and you just bring it down right across its face. Uh, quick question is, uh, where is the Kenku? He's with the middle bear, right? Or is he uh, by a different one? Currently he's been ripped out of the tent. Uh, I will grab his token though. Okay. For you really fast, you get an idea where he is. He's right there. He's being pulled from the tent at the moment. Okay. Um. Would you like to do anything else on your turn? Do you have a bonus action left? Um, what can I do on a bonus action? Uh, you might have spells or abilities that you can use on a bonus action. Uh, I will not, because okay. I'm going to read over my stuff and I don't want to take up time, so go sure. for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is now the polar bear's turn. Uh, Oster, the polar bear that you just tried to smack on the butt, immediately just vroom, turns around and faces you. Currently, the top side of its face is encased in ice. Its teeth are dripping frost. This breath just hits you. Um, and it's I'll going fear to... hisses back at it. Right, you hiss, your, your forked tongue hisses back at it. Uh, he's going to attempt to attack you. Uh, that is a 10 to hit you. Nope. Okay, and then he's going to take for go for a bite attack here. And that is a, that's a 16 to hit you. That makes it. That makes it? Okay. He swipes with the claw. You kind of bow, back up, but then you kind of stumble on your tail because it still kind of doesn't have too much feeling in it. And he manages to latch right into your shoulder blade. Uh, the right proper dice here. So you take... Oof. Five points of slashing damage. Oof. And then one point of uh, of cold damage as he bites into you, and that icicle sticks into your body. So that brings me down to thirty-six hit points. All right. Uh, the bear in front of you, um, Ghost, as you've kind of brought down the hammer, it shakes its head, and chunks of ice fall to the ground, and then just melt away. It looks enraged. You see now its eyes are glowing with this ethereal, magical glow. Uh, it once again brings down a claw as you brought down your Warhammer. Ooh, that's definitely gonna hit. That's a 19 plus uh, five, so that's a 24 to hit you. Um, I think it hits. Yeah, I think it, I don't think you're gonna miss on that one. So that's two points of damage, one. Okay, so you take three points of slashing damage and then you take four points of cold damage. Okay. As that as that ice spreads from your shoulder down your body, cracking your armor. Uh, and then the final bear is seeing the other two, is going to lumber forward 40 feet and actually can reach you, Oster. So it is going to flank you. Oh no. Oh, and that no. gives it plus two to hit. That's not gonna help it. Uh, that's another 10 to hit you. Nope. And then plus two, come on, that, oh my God, that's the same roll. That's another 10. So it swipes behind you, but you manage to like slap it one way with your tail and then slap it the other. Um, and it can't get a grip on like your tail switching around. It's trying to bite your tail and it's moving too much. 
Uh, that ends their turn. Uh, Valsinian, it is now your turn. Oh boy. Well, Valsinian's going to move up to where he's 10 feet in range of both the bears on either side of Osir. Hey, and he's going to do a little bit of magic. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. For Just the bear behind really him, he is going, and this is, okay, good. Just a cantrip. We don't have to worry about any tables. For the bear behind us here, he is going to cast Twinned Spell. Okay. So that poison makes it... Spray. So that makes it two. You'll be able to target another creature within range with the exact same spell. Oh, so he's perfect. going to cast it on both. So you're going to do Poison Stray. Okay, that's a constitution saving throw for both of them. Yep. That's a natural one, so that fails. And then that is an 8 plus 3, so that's an 11. So they both fail. And they both oh, take one poison damage. Sorry about that. Oh. Oh, ignore that. Um, I was just you double pressed it. Sad Sadly, you only get one because it's the first roll, so... <laughs> Oh, I know, I was just trying to put the spell card on there. That was my mistake. Oh, it's all good. All right, you managed to like, it's like throwing like jello. You just kind of like, Ugh. you throw jello out of the palm of your hand and it kind of like splats each bear like at the same time. And both bears go Arr! and look at you, this tiny little gnome standing in the snow. <laughs> that will end my turn, sadly. Okay. Uh, and now, Snowflower, it is now your turn. Um, you get the sense too, I will say this since you're a druid, that these bears are not acting naturally. They are definitely under the influence of some sort of arcane power. Um, so any attempt to potentially talk to them is probably not a possibility at this point in time until they are cured of whatever affliction this is. Yeah, I was assuming that, um, pretty much assuming since, like, they won't even talk and maybe we have to, like, make him at least go unconscious hopefully because he doesn't want to kill them that's that's mean um he's gonna try removing the the ice helmets from them by using fireball okay oh uh that's that level three i guess whoa whoa why did you cast it at level three you don't have level three i thought i did it says it right here Oh. Do druids get it at level three, or am I wrong? Completely? I don't think druids get fireball at all. I was oh, gonna say I thought they did. Why do I have it? <laughs> I had it twice on here. I was like, why? Oh, okay, oh. I'll I'll use something different if it's like a big question mark completely, because that does I... look a little too high. Yeah, fireball is like the signature. Yeah, that's eight level five that's spell. Too high. <laughs> yeah, you just did forty one damage. <laughs> why do I have it? You wanted to like gently want... lull the bear yeah. to sleep. You incinerated it. Oh no! <laughs> it's dead. It. I wow. can't believe Took I murdered a bear. Clean off. <laughs> uh, let me take a look at what Drew's book. Yeah, that's very odd. That might be a glitch. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't add that in there from last time I checked. Um, weird. Unless I added it in there to test something, I may have. <laughs> uh, I I, have, I wanted to use flame blade because I know I had that last time. Okay. Uh, let's do flame blade then. Yeah. Let's see. Let's find that Dancing lights, dispel magic. There's so many. Spells. You could do druid craft. You sure you don't want to do druid craft? I don't think I have that. Oh wait, do I? Or... No, I don't see it. Huh. Let me check out your your sorry druid spells. You're super duper fast here for you. Go ahead. Oh uh, no, I caused confusion already. It's all that. Um, this, I told you guys before. This if this happens, we just figure it out. The I'm sure the viewers are fine with this. So as a druid, you can learn druid craft, guidance, mending, poison spray, produced flame, which might be where we're confused. Resistance, shillelagh, and thorn whip. Might have been that, but I don't remember putting fire. Either. Right now you have control flames and shillelagh, and for some reason you have fireball, which was probably me testing something. Okay. So, yeah, that was me. So, you have control flames and shillelagh. <laughs> okay. And you have uh, your other four level one spells as well, so. Yeah, and I have my two level twos. Um, but yeah, I put in flame blade, and that's 14. 14? Oh, you have, to, you have to move up for that one. It oh. is. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, 30 feet, right? Yeah, you can flank the bear um, that right. Osir is currently yeah. having his tail. Yeah, right there. Perfect. 
Hello. You plus two, you absolutely hit with the flame blades if you want to click for the damage there. Okay, nice. Uh, as you, like, you see the bear and it's like gnashing at uh, Oster, who's kind of like fending off two bears now. Um, you swing your flame blade and as the bear turns to lunge at you, you just take it and you shatter the ice on its head and it <laughs> shakes its head kind of confusedly, tilts its head and appears to be cured of whatever infliction it had. The fire appears to be spreading down and hissing away at the snow that is currently possessing it. Oh, okay. I can't use speak with animals. That's also an action, so I'm really yeah. sad. But Alas. you freed him, and the bear looks confused and a little frightened um, and hungry, but uh, you have done something. It appears that fire uh, helps them. Is Why? Why have fire in the cold? All right. That brings it back to you, Oster. Um, you hear a bit of a commotion behind you, the bear in front of you currently uh, leaping up, kind of gnawing at your blade as you pull back. What are you doing? All right. Uh, first of all, to uh, draw a new weapon, is that a bonus action or part of the move action? I would say at this point, they, it won't work. Um, well, no, well, actually, I've, no, I've got could. a plan. If I disengage, I could probably. Switch. I'll say, yeah, you can switch weapons. I'd, unless it's like another, is it like a bigger weapon, a smaller weapon? And it's moving to the mall from the greatsword, which is the same size. Sure, I'll say yeah. All I right. don't mind. People are gonna be mad at me. Eh, whatever. It's it's a one-off. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. And disengage is a regular action, not the move action, right? Uh, it takes up your full action. You don't need to disengage. I'll let you do it for free. Oh, okay. So swapping to my ball because cutting doesn't work. Osir decides to slam him for fifteen. Does yep, that hit? hit? That hits. Yep. All right. Thirteen. Nice. That's a really, you did 13 points of damage. As you bring yeah. down your maul, it shatters part of the face and actually part of the shoulder blade as well. It comes crashing the ground, skittering across the ground. The, the penguin kick who kind of <laughs> pushes away as the ice kind of spreads across the snow. Ooh. And as my bonus action, okay. let me just find it real quick here. My hungry jaws. I may get a bite attack now. All right. Uh, you can throw yourself into a vicious frenzy. As a bonus action, you can make a special attack with your bite. Uh, if the attack hits, it deals normal damage and you gain temporary hit points. Do you have to do a bite action to make this work? That's my only question. As a bonus action, I can make the bite action. And yes, I do have to actually hit with that. And I okay. don't think I do. Yeah, no, you don't. You, you, your mouth goes like 160 degrees and you just go to bite like Pac-Man and the bear just like kicks you with its back leg and you just get a mouthful of, of snow and you just bleh, spit it out, snow and gravel and whatever else has been kind of around this area. All right, no hungry jaws until after a short rest. All right, I assume that ends your turn? Uh, well, actually, I'm really upset at this bear, so I'm going to use my action search to get another action. That that takes, uh, does that take a bonus action to? Nope. Wouldn't that be redundant? On no, your turn, you can... you can take an additional action on top of the regular action and bonus action. Yep, that's true. All right, yeah, so you action search. Oh, that hits. Wow. That absolutely hits. Roll for damage. Oof, another 12. Not oh, bad. I get to reroll one of those damage die because of. Let me just bring that up. It's two and six, yeah. So you can reroll the two. So you have six currently. Yep. So roll a one d six for me. Another two. So it's the same amount of damage. Darn. Sadly, you have to stick with whatever roll you get the second yeah. time. Yeah. All right. So that's, that's twelve damage again to it. Yeah. You take another chunk of ice off the back leg, and it goes spraying across the ground. Uh, Ghost, it is now your turn. Uh, question, is Sacred Flame any fiery type move, or no? It is a radiant damage move. So no. You don't know? I mean, it's true, I literally do not know. Uh... It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does do damage. I'm gonna do that, I think. I'll try. I don't know what that does. <laughs> <laughs> I will roll their dexterity save. Uh, which that one definitely fails with the two. Um, and it takes three radiant damage. 
Okay. Uh, you just kind of thrust your hand out and the bear gets sprayed with almost similar color in a weird way to this corrupting ice. Um, and like, it kind of spreads over the face. You can see where it's kind of burning a little bit, but it's not catching flame. And mm. the bear just wrinkles its face and snarls at you. Well darn. Still did uh, some damage to it. Yeah, I'll take that. You're doing great. Thank you. <laughs> no, it's just like thumbs up with a giant flaming sword. Yeah. I don't have fire moves. Uh. <laughs> um, I guess that ends, I don't get another, I can't attack again after that, right? No, that takes an action. Um, then... So you have a bonus action left. Um, what can I do for a bonus action? Really? If you good. have spells that say they take a bonus action to cast, you can use them. Okay. Um, beyond that, for you, with the weapon you have, nothing else, really. Yeah, I, mean, I don't... I can heal people, but does anyone that really... Take, that takes an action as well. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> All right. All right, that ends your turn. Uh, it's I now the polar bear's... Best. Now the polar bear's turn again. Um, the one currently attacking you, Austere, is very angry at you still. Um, it's going to turn once again and attempt to hit you. And that is a 21 to hit you. Yep, that's a hit. Okay. You take... Oh, jeez, come on. Uh, you take... Oh, that's sorry. I rolled the wrong dice. Never mind. I guess we rolled. Okay, still the same up. And... Okay, you take two points of... Uh, oh, sorry. No, sorry. Seven points of slashing damage. And then one point of cold damage as the bear just jumps on top of you and brings down its claw and just swipes you across the front of the chest. Uh, then, as it has you in this advantageous position, it's going to attempt to bite you, and you just turn your neck away, and it just <clears throat> crashes into the snow next to you as it only rolled a three and completely missed. Nice. <laughs> uh, the bear in front of you, Snowflower, just kind of looks at you, tilts its head puzzled, looks at its like rampaging brothers, and just takes off running. It just runs through the village like a scared, scared oh. animal. Just books it. Oh, Bye. Oh. <laughs> no, come back. I won't ask you. Okay. <laughs> uh, the bear in front of you, uh, Ghost, is not impressed. It's still sort of on fire with your blaze. Um, and I that's a, nat that's a natural one. Um, it God. goes to Whew. snap at you, and it gets knocked prone, and that will end it. <laughs> uh, Valsinian, it is now your turn. Stupid bear. <laughs> Stupid bear slipped on ice. <laughs> the bear! <laughs> The bear that's near uh, Ghost right now mm -hmm. is going to cast a level one spell, so you know what that means. Well, it depends on whether or not you... I have to roll for it, so go ahead. Let's actually cast this at level two. Oh, God. Don't Magic missile. Me. Magic missile. You so your me. wild magic. Okay, nothing happens. There's a moment where it wavers. You're like, uh, okay, we're good. Uh, that's eight. Uh, so you're rolling that at... Level two. Okay. That's sorry. I figure out the math here for you. So that's twelve points of damage. Nice. So you do twelve points of damage to that bear. Uh, it's not looking so good. Uh, you uh, go as you're kind of standing your ground, and this bear just trips in front of you. You just hear pew, 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 as these three strings of missiles just bam, bam, bam hit this bear like torpedoes out of the sky. Uh, and you see more chunks of ice are kind of falling off, and the bear's like, burr, burr, like looking like he's not having a good day. <laughs> One would say he's having a very bad day. <laughs> I see how it is. You beat uh, me to it. <laughs> you could say it's a bear market. Oh my god, no, what have I done? Um, Belsini, is there anything else you'd like to do in your turn? No, that will end my turn. Okay. Uh, Snow, it is now your turn. Uh, this bear is still prone on the ground in front of you. It's currently smoldering from the force damage of the magic missile, as well as your, your radiant damage, which is now kind of fading into the, the cold wind. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Oh, sorry, I got snow and ghost confused. Uh, yeah, you, you, your, your flaming sword is still kind of there. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe that ghost? bear's in front of... No. Snow. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I, I don't know who's who now. <laughs> um, I had... Snow is like kind of torn between a uh, bear fighting like owl and bear fighting lizard. He's like, which one? You know? Um, it's hard. 
Snow, help me! <laughs> I've got this. Okay, he runs over to a uh, ghost. <laughs> Alright, you run over to the owl. Yeah. Um, and I'm gonna... Okay, so the bear is prone, right? The bear is prone, yeah. Okay, um... Oh, the flame blade was a bonus action. I could have used animal French. Damn it! I didn't know. Okay. Um. I. I did. <laughs> um. Okay. I want to use flame blade to try removing the helmet, like melt it away, so I don't want to kill the bear. If that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So non-lethal, essentially. Yeah. You do have to make an action to make the attack, though. To summon it was a bonus action. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I guess if we have to talk to the bear, I have to actually remove the thing, so I'm gonna... I did it! Whoa, well, that's a natural 20. 20, 25. Okay, hit that damage, that's a nat 20. Jeez. Can't wait for you to accidentally murder the bear. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> wow! I wow! I got three, three you got, sixes! You got three sixes in your damage, and then oh. another six in your critical damage. Wow. In before, you killed the bear. <laughs> you watch Ghost as Snowflower, this giant hulking goliath, walks past you, and just takes a literal sword made out of fire, and like swings back and you like close your eyes because you don't want to stand to look at the carnage and gingerly snowflower just starts like chopping off pieces of the ice like a groomer with a dog like just like duh, 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 there's a mat here chucking this side <laughs> so eventually the bear just stands up and is like Bow. like looks pretty good he's also got a nice little bit of a haircut so very gentle for a goliath quite impressive he loves the animals okay no, I didn't know you had this talent. You gonna go into the groomer business? I tried, but then I got fired. <laughs> because Is that a joke? But yes. <laughs> the deepest Goliath lore. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I assume this this ends your turn, Snow. Yeah, I don't have anything else to do. Okay, uh, Oster, it is now your turn. Well, independent of Hungry Jaws, I've got this. So, since I'm apparently okay. pinned to the ground, I'm just you aren't, gonna... you aren't prone or anything, it's just flavor. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. in that case, I'll just swing with this. Oh my Whoa. god! That's a nat 20. That oh. is a nat 20. Roll for damage. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. That's, that's, yep. That is a dead polar bear. Uh, as you guys, like, the polar bears, like, a root with, with ghosts and snow, you guys just hear a thwack noise. And Valsidian, you watch as just an eruption of blood um, comes from the, the forehead of the polar bear, and it just swoops down dead to the ground there. Uh, that ends combat. Uh, as you guys stand in the middle of the village, the polar bear, like, looks over to its dead companion, kind of gets, like, nervous, like, Burr. Whoa, it's hey, okay. Snow, can you talk to him? That's what I was planning to do. He didn't. I'm gonna really check on it. the little guy. Okay, we'll, we'll start with the bear first, and then we'll get to the little guy. All right. Um, Snow's gonna do speak with animals. Okay. He's gonna have that pop up. Nice. And he asks, um, what happened to you and your friends? Why did you have the uh, ice hats on you? What's um, a hat? A thing that sits on your head. Oh, we were just going for a swim, and then here, what happened to Dennis? He looks <laughs> over to the dead polar bear currently on the ground. We could not stop the. Uh, we, he was too far gone. I'm sorry for Dennis. All I remember is a voice going, "Go to village, go to village." I don't remember much more than that. Do you... Did you see anyone before you came here? The polar bear, just, just strangely as it sits up on its like back legs and sh shrugs, and then boom, goes back on its front paws. That's understandable. Um, your friend ran that way, like he points to the direction where the other polar bear went. Uh, you should find them before uh, they get caught. 
No. You right, you right, and he <laughs> doom, 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 run away. <laughs> Goodbye, you're great. Bye <laughs> bye. Okay. Uh Oster, as you uh pull out this uh this this penguin uh Kenku, I will show him to you. Uh here we go. There you are. Oh he's beautiful. Well, hopefully Curtis, who's our, our lovely, lovely camera person, can show that off to the audience there. Lawrence. He's got a good uh, penguin. Oh he gets up on his feet kinda wheezy. Oh thank you so much. Oh, who okay. are you? I'm a traveler. I can tell you, you I've never seen anything like you before. You're like a fish that's got scary teeth or something. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know of your kind. I'll um, explain once I get warm. I'll oh. talk to the penguin, I'll go over. I'm going to start butchering this bear. All right, roll yeah. survival there to butcher the bear. <laughs> you we'll gotta do that right here. <laughs> I the need the fur. <laughs> Snowflower like does a little prayer like in in <laughs> remember Dennis. <laughs> rest, rest. Bye, Dennis. Dennis. Rest I'll in Dennis. I'll that's the bear. Oh, the yeah. terrible survival roll of seven. <laughs> uh, there's still chunks of ice on it, and they're kind of like growing as you're trying to like salvage it. You get like a chunk of meat. That's about all you're gonna get. The pelt itself, with all the snow, like pelt like, is ice, ruined. Oh, it's straight up ruined. Like even even if you like manage to probably cure the bear, the pelt would probably still not be too great. But you do get one ration of, of polar bear meat. Uh, Lawrence kind of waddles over. Uh, he's wearing kind of like a, a simple set of kind of leather armor, a bit of a parka. And he's got this really, really fancy mace in his hand. Um, and he uh, he's like, uh, uh, come with me. We'll go into the longhouse. Um, you seem very capable. I'll explain there. And he okay. waddles right. uh, towards this house up to the north here. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. So as you guys uh, step inside, uh, there's a bit of a warm fire, but surrounding the warm fire are more frozen penguin kankus, even in their own homes. They're encased in ice, and next to the fire, it's it's not melting. Um, Lawrence kind of walks in. He goes, oh, I, I knew it would happen eventually. No one in the village listened to me. What happened here? What is this ice? <sighs> Yeah, you saw the mountain that's surrounding the village, right? Yeah. Vaguely. What about it? At the top of the mountain lives an ice fay. We worshipped it. I don't think we should have. <sighs> Basically, they went crazy, and, and, and now look what they've done. I knew that they were evil. Uh, please, if we can get to the top of the mountain and destroy the fay, I might be able to free my village. I'm not going anywhere until I've warmed up. I set a yell from the fireplace. I'm of, sorry. of course, of course. Did you say fey? Yes. Are you not familiar with them? Oh, I'm entirely familiar. Mm. This is going to be fun. What do you mean by that? Hmm. How to put it? Fey are fickle, they are powerful, and most of all, they love their own idea of fun. Apparently the fun is, well, you see the fun. He kind of kicks over like a frozen baby penguin kinku that just clunk, <laughs> a block of ice, like, a, like an ice sculpture kind of falls over. It doesn't break, <laughs> clunk, falls over. Oh my God. Oh, Snowflower bends down and picks it back up. So I, and like a little single tear falls down his cheek. <laughs> we must kill uh, this bay. Ghost uh, stifles a laughter because... <laughs> It's a little ridiculous. <laughs> it's silly, uh, but it's sad. How long has... <laughs> how long has this been going on for? What do you mean? The, the, the ice. Story? Oh, it's very recent. Uh, maybe, well, the ice started maybe two days ago, three days ago. Uh, the bears just showed up. If I could assume anything, the face is trying to finish us off. Or at least you survived. I wonder if they want something. I wonder why they're angry at you. Or are Faye's normally just dicks? Well, 
every summer, well, summer, when, when the snow is, well, the mountain's easier to climb because there's less snow, we give it offerings. I assume that it got tired of our offerings and finally made us our stupid plate thing. He just kicks a log into the fire and crosses his little, he tries to cross his, like, flip flat arms, but he's like, they're too short. And he's like, damn. What, what were your offerings, exactly? No, oh, cooked fish and, 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 and like art made out of whalebone and, and things like that. We're, we're very good at seafaring and, and things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Awful offerings. Which, what? by the way, what? you're so rude. Those that are sounds excellent great. Offerings. I would love a good cooked fish. Right about. You might like that, but think of the point of view from the Fae, this nigh immortal being of immense power. That's going to get real old real quick. Which, by the way, it looked like those bears were searching for something. Do you have something in your village perhaps that the Fae would want? Well, besides, like, me, nothing I could think of. I, like I said, we're simple folk. The bears were... More in, they were hypnotized. Who Do you have you? a village shaman or medicine oh. man? Oh, we had him, but he's over there. He points to, like, a penguin, like, currently, who's got, like, a mort and pestle, and it's just frozen in place. <laughs> <laughs> Think he may have had something in his domicile they were looking for? Besides a few healing potions, no. Uh, well, also, I'm 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 the son of the chieftain here, uh, who's right there, and he points to another frozen uh, <laughs> penguin kenku who's holding like like a a, a staff, I guess. Uh, it's got like a fish ornament at the end of it. Um, yeah. Here's the wooden, and he's standing next to like a smaller female penguin kenku. Who's who appears to be reading a book? They're uh, totally encased in ice. <laughs> Ghost mm. hides her face and kind of just laughs. <laughs> and shame. <laughs> you laugh your little owl laugh. No flower just snorts, but is still kind of sad about this whole thing. It's like it's Mouse funny. Sad. barely contains his laugh. If it and the and and Lawrence gets down on his hands and knees and he bows his head and he goes. I, if you could help me save my village, I'll, I'll get you whatever supplies we need. I, I know I have some climbing supplies around here. I, I think I have some potions, and and by all means, we have, we have plenty of food. <sighs> you said the magic word. I'll, I'll get you, you food. <laughs> He's been hungry this whole time. You I'll get him food though, right away, and he you see Lawrence like flap, 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 with the sound of like wet sandals on like concrete. He slaps away, and eventually How comes tall? back. How tall? Is Lawrence? He's, he's about the size of like maybe a slightly taller dwarf. Um, <laughs> he's so cute. He's so barely <laughs> taller than Velsinian. He's yeah, a few heads taller than Velsinian. Um, he's not a small creature. He definitely would probably put him more towards a beanie. He's very stout. Uh, he's obviously quite fat for winter. Um, plus, he's got the parka, which just makes him look even rounder. Um, <laughs> oh wait. I- Wait, I just realized, since these are smaller penguins, does that mean Snowflower has to actually bend down to be in this building? Yeah, you're like, you're like, your knees are to your chest, and you're kind of hugging, kind of looking around. Uh, (laughs) There's like a fishbone ornament that was hanging off the roof, you ran right into that. Like, (laughs) It's not much more comfortable for me over here. Uh, (laughs) Eventually... Lawrence comes back with with two plates of what looks like uh, fishes on sticks, and he just sets them up in front of the fire and begins to kind of season them uh, with various things. And he, he turns and goes, um, okay, uh, well, uh, if you want to look around and see if we can gather supplies, um, you can eat and we can rest, and then and tomorrow let's go up the mountain. What time of day is it right now? It's okay. getting late. It's it's probably like maybe seven, eight p.m. at this point. Okay, so we're not doing much seems... else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take you up plan. on that. Uh, okay. where would the potions be? Uh, probably somewhere over there. And he points to the frozen Morton Pestle penguin Kenku, who's like got a big smile on his face, like he was telling a joke or something. But then he froze. Uh, <laughs> there is there's sort of like a, a a surprisingly wooden desk there um and there's like shelves of different powders and, and, and other other things fish eyeballs um whatnot um whoever would like to investigate that area you can roll an investigation check only one person for that that would so. be me i'm interested investigation oh shoot <laughs> that's that's enough i got a 10. Um, you find two healing potions okay and a healer's kit. Sweet. Ooh. Well, Sydney uh, actually has a healing potion from the last time. Nice. So does Snowflower. Uh, 
<laughs> and uh, if anybody wants to investigate the king and queen, or the chieftain and the chieftain's wife, bird wife, uh, yeah, absolutely. Roll an investigation check. 17. 17. All right. You kind of like look around. They're very much in case, but you find behind the, what you assume is a throne. It's very humble. It's not too like crazy. Uh, you find a bell, a very nice, oh, it appears to be copper bell. Uh, you also find, uh, kind of sitting on the shelf next to him, a sheet of paper with a complicated mechanical contraption on it. Valsinian squeeze. Yeah. You, the paper over intensely. Uh, roll just a general intelligence check. Hold on. I got to fix for this. Tides of chaos. Advantage. Uh, okay. Starting for level, you can manipulate the forces of change and chaos to gain advantage on one attack roll or a saving throw. Once you do so, you must finish a long rest again. Anytime you regain the feature. Okay. So yeah, you 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 you're, you have a little bit of brain freeze. Uh, your little gnome head being you know so thrown into the snow. Um, eventually, you realize it's some sort of blueprint of some sort of ancient healing ball. Like it is, it appears to be like a glass. Um, dodecadon style ball um you have no idea what exactly it is uh but you have a blueprint for it um so yay may i try to do i have any materials on hand to try to build that with my tinker's tools looking at the blueprint it's it's actually quite large so no sadly not in this situation it's not like a tiny little um gadget it appears to be like a large um piece of equipment of some kind Valsinian but... will tuck that away in his pack and look very, very happy. But he okay. will hold up the bell to the others and say, I found this lovely little thing. Perhaps this is what your fae is looking for? That's my father's bell. Uh, he does that just to get people's attention. I don't think it's magical. It was a gift from a Northlander tribe to the east. Hmm. Um, it's pretty. It I mean, we pretty. could take it with us and give it to the Fae and see if that sates its anger. Hold on. I have detect <sighs> magic. Can I Can I have a look at it? Uh, yeah, sure. Hands it over. Okay. Uh, you can get that as a cleric? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that. Um, so you can you can sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you if you sense magic in this way, you can see actually see an aura, invisible object. So the bell doesn't give off magic. Um yeah. at all. So there's no magic as you stare at the bell. It's just a bell. Sorry, Val. Hmm. If fickle as Fay are, it might still come in handy. We can so detect a good joke with it. You do detect around you, which which makes sense, um, like spattering. It almost kind of overwhelms you as you stare. You're like staring at the bell, expecting something. Spattered around you is just tons of enchantment magic. Um, from the ice, right? Yeah, you assume it's from the ice. It's just like, it's just all like, it's like as as scattered as the snow itself. It is is all over the place. So I'm going to investigate those fish. Okay. <laughs> you discover that it's delicious. <laughs> Uh, there's also sort of like a, a hunter's area to the corner of the room. Would anybody like to investigate that? Oh, I might be interested in that. Okay. So. Roll it's... another investigation. <laughs> no! Uh, you like, you you get up, you're just like, I'm going to go look over that. But the fish, though. <laughs> uh, I'll go look over it. You know you... what? At least it's not a natural one. That's true. Oh no. <laughs> you get you start digging through stuff, you just get tangled up in rope and and so far Valcini and you watch as the this owl like Kinku walks over, starts grabbing rope and like trying to toss it over their head, but ends up getting tangled on them. They just they're like, Oh whatever. They keep trying to grab things, they start getting tangled more and more, eventually they just fall over. Can you be wrapped up in the rope? Yeah, oh absolutely. <laughs> he, he can't move. It's a it's a small building, but he's gonna attempt to like reach over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you race one of where you can fly. Snowflower, the giant Goliath, just kind of sees this this owl can kind of like kicking, like getting completely tangled up, and just leans over, reaches over, and starts like rummaging through things. Uh, you find a climber's uh, a climber's kit, ooh, uh, and an ice pick, ooh, and a torch, ooh, torch, an ice pick, and a climber's kit. Yeah. Why do I imagine that with the climber's kit? You're literally just tying rope to Valsinian. He's holding two ice picks, and you're just 
twirling and throwing him up onto the mountain. <laughs> yeah, it works. Because it works depending on the situation, that may happen. All right. Um, Lawrence kind of pulls out some some bedrolls for you guys. He grabs about four for you, though. Uh, Snowflower and two for you, um, Osser, you giant lizard man, you. Um, he lays them out and he goes, okay, we should get rest for tomorrow. It could be an intense fight. Nothing's um, intense for Snowflower. Before we go to sleep, uh, I want to cast pr uh, Prayer of Healing to okay. heal any wounds that we've had from battle. Absolutely. You mean my wounds. <laughs> I took yeah. a lot of damage too. Oh <laughs> yeah. Um, I cast it at two, correct? I believe so. Yeah. Just click the spell there. Okay. okay. Wow. You guys all get healed for eighteen hit points. I love clerics. Yay. <laughs> Moving back yes. at max. Let's kick back our heels and chill out for a while. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence kind of like swallows a bit. Like he's like, yeah, okay. I'm just like yes. Waddles the away. Pats, pats him before he walks off. It's okay. Thank you, giant scary man. Um, <laughs> Gives him a, a very faint smile. He doesn't notice. Can I ask to try something before we go to sleep, too? Sure. Hey, Snow, can you put your flame sword to these ice uh, birds? Uh, it melted the bears before. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, all right he. All right, since so it's a small building, he'll try making a flame dagger is that okay you make like a flame <laughs> toothpick yeah, yeah. With your hand. i'll do just flame blade again just do that okay a you walk up to pick. one like you you walk up to one of the fluffy like baby penguin uh kenku and you just like you you do hit it quite hard not even a dent um looking at this this ice in particular and the concentration of the magic that you felt earlier um, the focus is, 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 looks like it's on the, these creatures, like to encase these creatures. It seems to be more power focused to that than, than the bears itself. Dang, I was hoping yeah. that would work. Yeah, I'm a little sad that the baby won't waddle. The ice, you know? Mm. We'll free them one day, I know it. Yeah, I don't like seeing fellow Kenku in situations like this. I'm gonna take one last bite a fish and call it a night. All right, you just like, oh, you eat the entire fish, you pull the skewer from your mouth, and then you just fall backwards and just <laughs> your, your lizard exactly, jaw just open. That's exactly what I was imagining in my head. <laughs> uh, the rest of you guys bundle up for the night? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so the flower's gonna be kind of curled up on himself and using all four mats as a pillow. <laughs> and he's just using his cloak as a blanket because it's right there. Yeah, this huge mound next to a very, very small mound, which is ghost, with some feathers poofing up, and then the even smaller mound, which is Falsinian. And night takes you, and eventually you awaken to a dawn, a breakfast, and then you set outside, and the snow is not as crazy. Uh, it's definitely better weather. You are kind of happy you, um, you waited um, before going that night. Had you gone that night, it probably would have been a very, very hard journey. But you see the shadow of the mountain before you um, as you guys step out of the long house and gaze upon the other penguin Kenku that are currently still trapped and frozen. And Lawrence kind of comes hobbling out. He's got uh, some rope under his, his flipper and his mace kind of resting on his shoulder. Oh, so he's joining us? Yeah, he's going to come with you. Friend. Oh, yeah. New friend. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it can't just be you doing this. I should help. I, mean, I like you already, Lawrence. Huh, thanks. It's all of you, thank you. All right, I'll lead the way. And he starts waddling side to side and moving towards the mountain. I'm not gonna lie, watching him walk away like that, he looks delicious. Hey, hey. Do not. No. No. I'll no. beat the crap out of you if you do anything to him. I won't. I know that makes you warm bloods angry. Well, not so much angry as it spoils our own appetite. Careful you don't find your food poisoned in bad case. Got my eye on you. He does like the little like uh, finger thing with his eyes and then goes right at <laughs> Ossie. <laughs> nice. Watch. Yes, watch the man who didn't just threaten to poison someone. Oh, yes, well. because yeah, I'm a snow sweet. stopped. Watching everyone. Okay, 
So as you guys, I assume you're following uh, Lawrence? Yes. Yep. Okay. He, he's leaving a very clear path uh, in the snow um, as he's waddling through. Um, he's kind of like pushing some ice and stuff out of his way. Um, the mountain itself kind of curls around and kind of even leans forward. But at the peak, as you stare up, you see a tiny like structure at the top. It, it, it appears to be the the sun is like running through the facets of it and it, it's, it's almost like glowing like a beacon in a way and it's made out of that similar sort of pinkish bluish ice um and lawrence points a flipper and he goes that's where the fey lives their name is um sarindaru that's their name sarindaru sarindaru i will write that down for you guys seven dogu <laughs> seven dogs heck yeah <laughs> Sarendaru. Right there for you guys. Oh, it's one word. Okay. Yeah. Sarendaru. Uh, long shot. Does that mean anything in Elvish? Uh, uh, does anybody know Sylvan? Uh, you do? You know Sylvan? Yep. Nice. Uh, Sarendaru basically means, uh, uh, ice serpent. That's what the name Great. directly translates to, is ice serpent. Hmm. I servant, huh? Maybe a distant Someone relative of mine. Maybe he'll get along with you, ass here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're you're cold blooded, right? Cold blooded doesn't necessarily mean I like the cold. It hurts. Plus, he's not made of ice. Have you, guys you met him? <laughs> Sarandaru? Yeah. Yeah, I have. I mean, we take offerings up to them. Hmm. What's he like? Oh, well, it's a she, first of all. Okay. Well. <laughs> Did you what? just assume? Ooh. Yeah. What do you yeah. think she's? What do you think she's like? She's entitled. Entitled. Selfish. Hey. Sounds like hey. someone's. Uh, sounds like a great butt to kick. Uh, and you watch as as Lawrence like walks up to the, the mountain now where you guys kind of have to start climbing up and he like climbs up a piece of ice and like pulls half of his body and his flippers like kick and he just eventually brings himself up to the first part. Um, as you guys kind of continue your way up the mountain, eventually you reach a part where um, there's kind of a, a pathway of ice and a huge chunk of it is missing about 30 feet across. Hmm. Are we going to do another game of throw the... <laughs> the snowflower looks right at that. I just I love a good game of lob the gnome. I don't trust myself to get him across 30 feet. Everyone turns and looks at Valsidian, the gnome, who is currently looking at his paper like, yes, and then if I get the right material, I could probably build... You look up Vicinian and everyone's looking down at you. What? 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 What are you looking at me for? Oh, no. <laughs> no flower grabs him. I heard you like yeah. Come on. Back up. <laughs> Really? We're doing wait, this again? Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, I hope well. you learned how to fly. Lawrence, your rope. Oh yeah, that's probably we should oh, give yeah. him that. And he hands you the rope. <laughs> and the nice pick as well. You're like, part of this too. I hear my thing. Tied around El Cidian's waist. I need to, I need to kill that Faye. I'm sorry. I realize I made a jab at your family, but isn't this just a bit much? It's so far, I want to double team you. this one. You'll be great. You'll be fine. I have a good throwing arm. You know, the first time you threw me, I hit a wall. Well, it, it was worked. funny. <laughs> it shows I could throw. <laughs> it's right, okay. It's Here, uh, Lawrence grabs the rope and hands it to you, Austin, and he goes, If you fall, we just hold the rope, and you'll just. Swing a little and we'll pull you back up and try again, right? I will swing and smash my face into another wall. Hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Let's do it. T pose. You and I together. <laughs> All right. I, I will say, Osir and, and Snowflower, you can help each other. Who, who's throwing the gnome? Uh, Snowflower. Uh, okay. And then Osir. The strength between the two of us. Uh, he has like uh, 14 strength, so like two for modifying. 18. Oh, okay, you should do it then. Okay, but you're going to help him, correct? Yes. Okay, so you have it with advantage because Snowflower is currently helping you. All right, okay. strength check? Yep. And... All right! Okay. Yeah. Valsidian, you are thrown by the lizard folk man, 
and like you do like a front flip and as you're flipping down you see them all staring at you and you like hold your you're, you're holding the ice pick with the with the pick facing out and you're like oh god oh god and then you grow tunk and you open your eyes and you're on the other side and the ice pick is a good like 10 inches in the ice with the rope taut on the other side hmm. i hot, knew hot. you could do it congratulations you didn't kill me why would you doubt us? Didn't You're better you the at last this than you thought. Who knew? <laughs> uh -huh. Now, what can I secure this rope to? I'm assuming the ice pick. It is very secure, the ice pick and the ice, so. And there's actually that like a loop, or, there's like, like a hole as well so that you can actually like tie it into. Belsinian will do so. Okay. With your nimble hands, you just you tie a really, really strong knot. A sailor's knot, right? Those are the best kind. <laughs> All right, I'll go across first. Uh, uh, yeah, athletics, athletics check. Okay, that's easy enough. You you grab onto the rope and you just kind of like go upside down like a sloth. You just climb underneath. You feel a rush of wind kick up your feathers, and eventually you make it to the other side and just pull yourself up and you stand next to Belsinian. Hey, little buddy. Lawrence, Hello. you're next. Thank you. I was gonna ask to go next, and Lawrence uh, gets on the rope. I will roll an athletics check. For Lawrence. That's Lawrence a natural a twenty. Lawrence, oh. Lawrence just like runs across the rope like it's a tightrope with his He's little. Done this He's, He's done like, this before. He's done this before. He waddles across and he jumps and does like a front flip and <laughs> lands next to you, Valsinian. Oh, right. thank you. Okay, that was actually impressive. I like you. Time All to right, follow it so... up, boys. Snow, you may be bigger, but I'm stronger. You're next. Mm. Let's hope it doesn't turn out the same way the banister did. He, Snow Nasir. looks down. How <laughs> how deep is the uh, the, the drop? Yeah. What is the, it? A cavern the, or some shit? Uh, the 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 distance across is like about thirty feet. Uh, okay. the fall is about thirty feet as well. It it's a decent oh. drop, maybe thirty feet to forty. You're not sure. The snow kind of makes it hard to gauge. All right. Yeah. Hmm. There might be spikes under the snow too. Shards of ice, yeah. Sweats a little. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll take his chances and use the rope. Okay. Uh, athletics. That's uh, athletics. Okay. Fourteen as well. Yeah. You nervously grab onto the rope, and you do the same thing. You do the sloth thing. And you kind of, you take your time, but there's gusts of wind that kind of rock you back and forth. And poor, poor Austria, you're kind of holding the rope in place. Eventually yep. you make it to the other side and you just easily pull yourself up. The ice you guys are standing on does creak a little bit with all the extra weight. <sighs> uh, I'm gonna move back. I'm scared. Yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence immediately like backs up. He's like, oh, we should probably move back. Belsinian yeah. does so as well. Stillflower will stay by the edge so he can like maybe grant us here just in case all right oh, goodbye friends <laughs> i'm actually going to undo the rope on this side so that we can take it back with us oh that's actually real smart yeah. okay i was thinking he should swing across but you know whatever <laughs> well it's still attached on the other side it's the thing i'm going to end up swing swinging across yeah then so would that be acrobatics in this case um, that would be, you're still swinging across, that'd be athletics, yeah. Okay. Athletics. Oh Close. no. <laughs> All right, you grab the rope, you're just gonna swing. This is rough. Okay, you grab the rope, you, rope, your rope, um, you grab the rope, you jump, and you begin to swing, and Snowflower, as you look down, you see Oster swing, his tail swishing behind him like a beautiful ribbon, then he disappears beneath the cliff that you're standing on, you hear a whack! And then Austin <laughs> swings back, spinning <sighs> on the rope. <laughs> you don't take any damage, but it's not very graceful. Um, and you climb up with no problem. You're a little dizzy, you're a little dazed, but you manage to like grab yourself and pull yourself back up. Ugh, my snout. That was really funny. Velsinian's sitting uh -huh. on the ground laughing at this point. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The little, the little gnome is just cackling madly. <laughs> <laughs> he brushes some snow off of Osir's head. Did good. Let us carry on. 
You guys taking the ice pick? Uh, yes. All right, roll strength. Check to get it out of the ice, because it's in there pretty deep. I got it. Oh. Wow! Oh, oh wow. <laughs> the bird did it. <laughs> uh, sir, you're, like, grabbing it, you're, like, pulling it, you're kind of, like, holding your head, like, like, pulling it, and then just, like, ghost walks over. The owl kind of turns her head down, turns up to you, just grabs it, and just pulls it out, and then walks away as you're still standing there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, right. come on, buddy. It's like opening a pickle jar. I loosened it. <laughs> you did sure you did. Uh, as you guys traverse forward, um, eventually you see the next part of your way up is about a decent 20 feet above you. Directly above you is another cliff. t -pose. come on, do it. I know you want to, do it. I don't think we can throw you that high. How high is it? It's, uh, it's about... Maybe a 25, another 30 feet up. Mm. Yeah, it's 30 directly feet up. vertical. Yeah. Not happening. Can I fly at all? No. Just a basic question. Dang. No. You were, you were, you were, <laughs> you were wants to try. He wants to try, you know? I'm going to whip out my hand axes. <laughs> try what I works. have an idea if you wish to listen. I'm I listening. could put you on the end of my hammer and then swing my hammer. That'd be fun. No, no, no. How about oh. this? Totem pole. But the biggest on the bottom go up. Yeah, and how we get the bottom people to the top? Well, rope, ice pick, same thing as last time. You just don't want to be thrown again. Specials. I'll admit it's fun, but that's not the point here. Are we on a ledge by any chance? Uh, yeah, you're on like a ledge. It's basically to give you an idea. Um, I will I will draw a picture, but I'll describe it. You guys are on a ledge, and then your next one is oh, another ledge above you. So it, it is directly above you. I apologize. So if you just look if from oh. you guys are standing right at the edge and if you look straight up, you see the edge of the cliff about 30 feet above you. There's no empty space in like we won't fall if we miss this, correct? Uh, we could, just land where we are. You would land where you are, um, basically, but I mean, it still would hurt your bums. So I will risk the bum hurt if we shall get up on the cliff. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing a total pull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything useful unless you guys want another avalanche. I don't. <gasps> no. I, um, don't, think I, I, I don't like that idea. That word's a bad word. Ah, fine. Let's... I may not be the smartest tool in the shed, but I don't know if we're tall enough to reach that high on a totem pole. I yeah, can wait. jump. Uh, let's check our heights, actually. Well, yeah. Sinian's going to be at the very top. He is three feet. I'm the tallest at eight feet. Second at seven. Uh, yes, five. Eight seven. We're at 23. How tall um, is Lawrence, you said? Four? Uh, he's about four feet tall, yeah. <laughs> That's 27. It That's looks about, about 25 feet tall, so you could probably do it. All right. All right. All right, acrobatics time. Uh, oh let's start with strength for Snowflower, who I'm assuming is going to be at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a five. That's a five. Um, okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, <laughs> That's great. I start climbing up on Snowflower, then you do. this happens. The snow just falls over. <laughs> You you stand on Snowflower's shoulders. Uh, eventually, I am assuming Ghost, you you step on top of Oscar's shoulders, yeah, yeah. and then this this penguin climbs up the front part of your jacket, uh, Snowflower, then up your your front sort of open chest area, your scaled chest, Oscar, all the way up uh, past you, kind of using your helmet, Ghost, to to, to get on top, mm. and then he he stands his his. Uh, his feet kind of like sandwiching your helmet to keep in place. You guys are kind of like swaying a little bit. And uh, I will say, uh, for the sake of this snowflower, you do take a little bit of damage as your back kind of makes a little bit of a snapping noise. Oh, uh, God. You take oh, two God. points of damage as you are uh, your back and you're like, mm. oh, my, my back. Oh, oh God, that hurt. Uh, I want, Valsinia, I want you to do an acrobatics check here uh, to climb up, and then we'll do a second check here to get you potentially on that ledge. 
I will say this. I'm very glad we had a long rest, because I feel like I might need the Tides of Chaos. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't have mattered. That was good. You you managed to climb up. You you actually end up like kicking. You end up kicking Oscar in the eye as on your way up. Can't be sorry. Can't be sorry. You look and, just like the snow. I couldn't see you. <laughs> and as you climb up, you use um, poor Ghost's beak as a foothold. It's not even I, that big. I swear, I'm going to eat him. <laughs> Uh, and eventually you do make it to the top. I need you to roll another acrobatics check to jump to the cliff. Great. I will use Tides of Chaos in this one. That one actually you pass. Oh, um, you don't pass gracefully, uh, but you do manage to pass. You 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 kind of like, your guys' totem pole sways back and then sways forward. You kind of like time it like a, like a... Uh, um, like a Crash Bandicoot kind of puzzle, where you're like, all right, back and forth, and now! And you jump, and you land, you kind of turn your ankle a bit, you kind of do a front roll, but you did it, you're there. Um, and at this point, I will say, Snowflower, you can't handle it anymore, and you collapse, and the entire totem pole just crashes to the ground. Um, well, Sinian will look over the ledge, and try not to giggle. I'm going to throw you again next time. I hated this idea. Question, did anyone actually give Valcindy in the rope? <laughs> nope. I hated this idea. <laughs> next time I'm throwing you. I'm so sorry. I don't uh, know what man. Over me. Oh, man. I'm going to take wait. the rope and I'm going to hurl it up the 25. No, I got a better idea. I'm Go. tying it to one of my hand axes and lobbing the hand axe at him. Okay. I have an explorer's pack. I have rope. <laughs> okay. No, we want to yeah, throw things too. at you. No, uh, Asir, roll roll to hit with your hand axe. We'll just do that. Okay. I, no, uh, no, I have a crossbow, correct? Vel, Velsidian, you're kind of like, <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. And then you hear a as an axe lands right next to you, almost hitting you in your thigh. And it just, <laughs> it's part of the ice now. It's a good, like, four or five inches deep in the ice. It's a little ha, bit of ha, ha. Okay, then. And there is rope attached. So uh, for all you guys who are down below, if you all want to roll uh, athletics checks again for me, I will roll for Lawrence. I got a 15. 14. Okay. Snowflower. Like, I mean, he, he just wants to lay there for a second, and then he got better. Uh, <laughs> That's so the um, sun's going to move back away from the edge so everyone can get up. Okay. Um, I assume you guys go one by one, um, and then Snowflower. I want you to actually roll an, uh, a a um, a dexterity saving throw real fast for me. All right. Okay. Three. <laughs> um, as you turn down, poor Lawrence is climbing the rope and he loses his footing and he falls and crashes to the ground. Uh, he Aww. takes two points of falling damage and he you hear a, like a little squawk down below. Oh, ow. You just, you, barely, you reach down to grab him. He's not dead, he's fine. Um, he kind of rubs his penguin butt and then grabs the rope and he's gonna try again. He failed, so. Oh. Okay, now he's got it. He, he, he's, he's back in boot camp. He starts climbing up the rope eventually, kind of struggling uh, getting up. So you wanna grab him and lift him up? Yeah, that'll be best. It's like, okay. he deserves it. You grab him, you grab him by like his mace on his back and his, his parka and you just poop, poop, put him on the ground. Oh, thanks. All right, everyone's yep. up. I'm gonna dislodge my hand axe. Okay, roll straight. Check. Wow. <laughs> you... Just kind of pops out of there, doesn't it? Yeah, it pops right out of there. And as you look down, you're like, "Huh? If I pulled this out wrong, this entire cliff probably would have went down." Well, you do notice some crack lines uh, in this particular area of the cliff. So, so yeah, we can look at that. Uh, at this point, as you guys kind of begin to circle around the mountain, kind of going this way and that way, climbing up, uh, you see that that structure coming more and more clear into view. Um, as you guys press through, there's more snow. It's thick and heavy. The wind is starting to become more brutal and ruthless. Uh, eventually, you reach in front of this large structure, almost cave-like in nature. It's of dark, deep purple and pinks and blue ice. It's almost beautiful in the sunlight, if not a bit foreboding. Lawrence, do we have to go in there? Yes. Hmm. 
That's where the Fae resides. But I remember there being a guard somewhere. Oh boy. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around. Yeah, for a guard. I'm gonna lick some of the pink ice. It reminds Alsir of some salt he once found. Oh boy. Salty boy. Salty boy. Okay. Uh, is that perception? Perception, yeah. Oh boy. May I roll as well? Yeah, anyone can roll for this. Um, I'll also add I have dark vision, 60 feet. It's daylight. It's, it's. But for the cave. Oh, the cave looks like there's light in it. It, it seems oh. like the, the sunlight goes through. Oh, okay. Yeah, none of you guys notice anything. Great. You don't see any polar bears. You don't see anything at all. And Lawrence will look too. It's just really yeah. pretty. I just think it's neat. This is a cool looking cave. Maybe the guard was sent to the village. I don't know. What did the guard look like? Uh, kind of like the bears, except taller, shaggier, uglier. Uh, don't say that too loud. That's not uh, nice to bears. Uh, do we acknowledge nature check to look for bear sign? Sure. Nope. Uh, no. That's a three. There's a ton of snow. Um, you don't see any footprints at all, Snowflower. You don't see any any sort of suggestion of a bear lodging, especially up this high. Like a like a polar bear wouldn't want to be this high. They wouldn't want to be like near the water, not not on top of a mountain. Yeah. Um. The uh, flower just sh shrugs. Is it possible to check for cha uh, tracks anywhere in the snow? Or that'd be survival. Oh, uh, get on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a team survival to see if I can't find anything in this fresh, deep snow. <laughs> There's a natural nothing. one. <laughs> yeah, uh, Osser, you kind of get once again down to your knee on your lizard knees and you kind of look around, your tail swishing side to side, and besides you guys, there's no, no sense of anything. Um, ghost, you like see a lump of snow that seems out of the ordinary, you run over with your great hammer, you just BAM, you hit it. And it's just a chunk of ice. But it's I dead did now. it, guys. Woo! Save the day. I'm He's proud gone. Of you. you did Thank it. Thank you. Phew. All right. Well, I guess there is nobody home. Let's go inside. Knock, knock. Hello, Dilla Ling Ling. We're coming in. Knock, knock. We have candy. <laughs> candy Grim. Uh, as you guys walk inside. Ooh. Enter almost a large temple-like structure. Mm -hmm. um, it's very beautiful. The, the, the surrounding ice in this, this weird sort of encapsulated area um, is a lot like stained glass of so these blues and these pinks. Um, where's our boy? There it is. Uh, he's going to waddle in behind you, actually. <laughs> um, and in the center, you see a device um and valsidian you recognize it it's it's the device that was on your piece of paper there oh no it's epcot so that's what it looks like magnificent valsidian will immediately run up to investigate it oh, as, you run, up, as you run up to investigate it you run and you kind of slip on the ice and you kind of slam against it up above the entrance of this ice cavern appears to be a different lodging and it, Jumping down, boom, boom, on two large feet. Ah! Oh. Uh, is this large ape-like creature with thick white fur horns kind of curling out from the forehead, long ears, and it turns, beats its chest with two arms, and roars. And I, I slowly turn to, to Lawrence. It, it, it's that's a not a bear. It's a yeti. It's that's, a yeti. That's definitely a yeti. All right. Now that thing's just abominable. <laughs> but um, and you have disadvantage That's now. That's eighteen. <laughs> oh. I will accept that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a seven. Keep getting seven. So long. I got a three. Six. All right, so it goes, and then Valsinian, and then so, and then our new best friend of the hour. Let me grab the stats real fast. Hey, if the Yeti like flings someone, is it a Yeti? God, shut up. No, <laughs> no mirror in this chat. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. All right. 
Oh god, that's ooh, that's not good for you guys. Oh fun. Uh, yeah, he beats you out. All right. Dang. Sorry, I just gotta grab my dice here. Okay. Ooh, that's a some scary business here, maybe. All right. So the Yeti smashes down. Um, and it stares directly at you, Snowflower. Um, you, Ghost, and you, Oster. I need uh, everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Oh, come on! Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Where's save? Uh, it's un it's um, under proficiency bonus. It's in the top of left. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> the sorcerer oh. beats me out. All right, so. It's the hardy little gnome. As it stares at you. Ooh, that's not terribly good. Uh, that's three, that's seven. Um, as this thing stares at you, um, Snowflower and Oster, you guys take seven points of cold damage and you are paralyzed. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Can't move at all. You seize up as this thing glares at you with these gleaming eyes. You bring your great hammer in front of you, Ghost, and manage to block the gaze. Your own eyes, large and ocular, being an owl. You're not too bothered by it. You've seen weirder eyes in your time. <laughs> Frozen with fear. <sighs> uh, that ends its turn. Uh, Oster, it is now your turn. Do I get a new constitution save to try it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> At the end of your turn, you can. Son of a. So you don't get an action, but you can you can try for a save. Oh. Well, paralyzed. So the only thing I can do is make that save. Nineteen. I break it. You 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 flex and you shatter the ice that kind of encapsulated your face and your shoulders as it as it roared at you. You are no longer paralyzed, but that does take your full turn. You're kind of panting and puffing. Smoke-like breath coming out of your lizard-like maw. Hissing. Uh, Ghost, it is now your turn. You see Oster come back, like, kind of shake off this icy terror of the Yeti. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna... Can I... Like, try and shake Snow first and then attack? Uh, you could give it advantage if you want to use your action to give Snow advantage to break the paralysis. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that takes your health action. You have a bonus action. Uh, I want to do inflict wounds, but I don't. That's know. an action. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Help Snow or attack? I'm gonna attack. Sorry, Snow. It's okay. okay. I understand. <laughs> I'm gonna do inflict wounds. Okay, that's a touch attack. That absolutely hits. Um, so just click your click the thing there, the inflict wounds on the chat bar. Yeah. Wow! Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Jeez, that's 21 points to hit and then 21 points of damage. At level you three, a inflict of 3d10? Yeah, it yeah. does. It's a very This was strong... level one, but okay. <laughs> you, 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 you kind of decide, like, do I help Snow? What do I do? You thrust back your talon and you just shove it through the shaggy fur of the Yeti. Eventually you, you touch a soft, you assume skin and you let loose the spell and it shocks the entire Yeti. You see black, corrosive, necrotic energy run up its fur, almost like smoke, almost like it got electrocuted. And it <laughs> seizes and grabs its chest. It definitely got hurt by that. <laughs> Holy Hannah, that was a lot of damage. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> Hope it buys you some time, Snow. I'm glad uh, you did that too. Valsinian, it is now your turn. You go running up like a kid in a candy store and then you're ba-boom, and you turn around and you just see the butt end of a Yeti currently uh, terrorizing your companions. Nope, nope, nope. Valsinian is <laughs> going to move very far away. 25 feet is you total movement. Out. You run across the ice, click, 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 and eventually you smack up against the back wall. And now he's going to turn to the Yeti and cast Firebolt. Firebolt, okay. That 18. definitely hits, yep. Or three points of fire damage. Three points of fire damage. Um, okay, so as you throw the fire at the Yeti right in right at his butt, basically, um, 
<laughs> you hit him and he just starts screaming. Um, the rest of you in front of him, Oster, Ghost, and, and, and Snow, you don't know what happened, but suddenly this Yeti is shrieking, absolutely shrieking. He has disadvantage on his next attack. Um, and he takes three points of damage. Ah, yes. Fire, the great equalizer for things taller than I am. <laughs> Which Alrighty. is everything. Alrighty, and that brings it to Snow. It is now your turn. Uh, you can roll your constitution save now. Okay. Yep, you pass. You, you kind of shudder, shake off the, the frost and snow on your poor bald head. Um, and you stare up, which is surprising for you, you stare up at this Yeti who is currently smoldering and burning and looks actually kind of terrified. Hmm, it's an animal, right? Uh, you mm, could roll knowledge nature. I'll say I'll let you roll a knowledge nature is kind of like a free action if you'd like. All right. Okay, definitely not an animal. All right. Um, definitely not a natural animal. Hmm, well. That ends your turn. Okay. Uh, it is now the Yeti's turn. The Yeti, enraged by you, Ghost, is going to attempt to uh, attack you with a claw attack. Uh, oh wow, it gets that really hurt it. Okay, so that is a that is a fourteen to hit you, Ghost. Is, okay, armor class is what it has to beat out, correct? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't hit. Does it hit? I'm 18. It throws a claw at you and it just ricochets off the helmet. You just lower, duck your head, just wong, wong. Its claws bounce back. It swings again, going for another claw. Oh, it definitely misses. That's a three plus six, that's nine. And it just it just swings wide and completely whiffs. Uh, it is currently screaming on fire at the moment. That is where your helmet is. <laughs> yeah. Um, Osser, it is now your turn. All right. I am directly in contact with it, so I'm drawing my great sword. Gonna see if we. Hmm. Thinking. Uh, what's the penalty for called shots? Cold shots? Called shot. What do you mean? Like, targeting a specific portion of the enemy's body. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Do I, I mean, I'd say not in this case because it's not like there's any detriment to it. Like, if there's something small. Like, if, are you aiming for like a leg? Or are you aiming for like a arm? Or yeah, I was gonna try and aim for that kneecap. Okay, you won't get any benefits to hitting it. Um, All right, no point so, then. Yeah. And great sword. Ooh. You go to swing with your greatsword, and the Yeti just knocks your greatsword away, like the blow. He just takes the side of the blade and just knocks it. And you kind of swing, and your blade twists and turns, and you hit the side of the cave, but you manage to yank it out, and you get back into fighting position. Just missed there. Oh, I'm not happy with that. Give me his action surge again. Okay. Yeah, you got it back because of your rest. Yep. Uh, there's a 14 hit it. It does hit. It is a very large creature. Um, you swing again, kind of taking the force of you yanking out the blade from the ice, and you slice up through the side of its chest. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. Not bad, I not get bad, not bad. no rerolls, so that's 13 damage to it. Nice. As, yeah, as I'm just... doing this, I'm going to shout, I want that head! <laughs> I run, run, run. The Yeti says back. It's not a I think he said, I love you. Aww. I'm fairly certain that's not what it said. Uh, Let's imagine it did. That is your turn. Uh, Ghost, it is now your turn. Okay. Hi. Um, uh, another question. How do I know which uh, moves are used up for a day and which aren't? Your spell slots? Yeah. Uh, if you look at your character sheet, it should tell you. So right now, you've cast Inflict Wounds. You got all your spells back. Cool. So you cast Inflict Wounds, uh, which took up one of your spell slots. You have three spell slots remaining at the Thank moment. You. you see slots total, slots remaining? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Three slots remaining. If there's actually like a little sidebar, you can actually reduce it down. Okay. So once you run out, you can't cast any more spells. Gotcha. Uh, I'm just 
gonna wham bam thank you man i'm gonna hit it with my warhammer all right that absolutely hits nice Ooh. four points of damage you bring it down, the, the Yeti actually reaches out and grabs Snowflower, and you're like, nope, you take your warhead and you just bash its hands. And it lets out a cry as its tangled, mangled, crushed fingers rear back and starts screaming, it's still on fire, it's having a very <laughs> bad day. Yeti's no good, fun, bad day. Um, I'm gonna end my turn after that. Okay, Snow, it is now your turn. Alright, uh, he's gonna just be an absolute ass and bring out his flame blade. Bl blade oh god, flame. so bad for him. That'll do it. Uh, takes your bonus action to summon it, and a 19 does hit. Alright. Uh, yeah. Oh, you watch as the Goliath Snowflower steps up with one slice of the blade, cleaves the Yeti right in half. Oh. And the Yeti grabs at itself as it just slumps over, down. And with its final breath, I want Valsinian to roll a perception check for me. 17. Okay, you hear in Sylvan, the Yeti looks up to that thing in the middle and goes, Serendai Achai. As he passes on. Jeez, what a baby. That was easy. Anyway. Hey, What's that word? Breaks horn guillotine. You're gonna take I'll the end. Will walk back over towards the group and mention that I think the Fae may know we're coming at this point. He just called out to her and said he tried. Uh, well, didn't try hard enough. In fact, he died. <laughs> Sur survival check for the head, uh, okay. Oster. Ah, uh, damn it! It's a big head. You might have to come back for it. You try a few swings, you're like, eh, eh, like with your greatsword, but it's just like, it's like getting caught, you have to recut in areas, it's not clean. It's just so big, and it's getting caught on like the hair, like your blade's getting stopped by the hair. Can I help him out? Sure. Hey. Okay. Um, 17, by the way. Ghost comes over and, and gathers up the Yeti hair in her talons and pulls it back. And uh, you you swing and you manage to chop it off. It's very heavy though, like this is, this is a That's huge fair. item. I'm you not helping you carry it, though. Good yeah, luck. You, you'd be yeah. over encumbered if you take this object. What eh, would I need to roll? Let the blood drain while we take care of business. <laughs> uh, what do I need roll... to roll between the blueprints and this device In... to figure out Inves... how to work it? Investigation check. 16. Okay, you walk up to the vice, um, there's actually like a few spots where you can actually walk up and like kind of look inside. You kind of take your elbow and you wipe off the glass on the outside, the frost over glass. As you look inside, you see a tiny little kind of coiled up little fat snake, if there's any way to describe it. Um, and it currently its breath is rising and falling slowly. And it looks up to you and, and says in Sylvan, you're not who I expected to come and try to kill me. And you are not who I expected to find up here. Although, killing you, that's a bit of a jump. You will reply in Sylvan. Um, and as you're talking to it, Lawrence, like, slap, 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 walks in and goes, Oh, what are you doing? Are you talking to it? Yes, it's this lovely thing we call conversing. I know it's language, so may as well speak to the godlike being, uh, yes? Uh, may maybe not. Maybe we shouldn't. And as he says that, the, the, the little wormling inside goes, I'm trying to use the last of my power to not die. Some terrible creature has stolen something from me. Wait. The creature I... stole something from you? Yes. A key to my power. I encased them with ice in an attempt to stop them and sent bears after them. And at this point, Lawrence kind of walks up to you and shoves you over. I need you to roll a opposing strength check. Great. Good luck with that. I will use Tides of Chaos for okay. advantage. 19. He got a 19 too as well. Oh, and he's got a plus two to strength. He shoves you over onto the ground and he holds up the mace that he's been carrying 
And he goes, I think that will be plenty of now. Thank you so much for bringing me to this fay. I can finish the job and finally have the power I deserve. Wait, um, what? Great. Uh, I trusted Valsinian. you. Can Valsinian cast a spell? Uh, at this point, it's initiative time. Uh, before we start, I want to declare that I'm going to be charging. 14 initiative. Uh, can I just... one? Uh, oh, a terrible initiative. I, I'm really upset this this penguin betrayed us. It's like I trip over the Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, Very good. Looks like okay. uh, me and Sigi have swapped initiative positions this time. God, this guy's getting really good rolls. All right. Penguin, they get great rolls. Okay. And then that is... I'm too distracted by yelling at him. I'm gonna <laughs> kick your little waddly butt! I'll I don't know what's it. going on, but it seems bad because <laughs> no one explained anything, I think. Uh, Valsinian okay. will call out, This little penguin bastard stole the Fae's power. He's used us to kill it. Thank you for clarification. Now I'm really angry now. <laughs> I'm rather perturbed right now. I'm yeah. sorry, but I must kill you. All right. He cracks uh, his knuckles. <laughs> At the top of the round, I also I have the wrong music, I think. I mean, I like this music. It's, it's pretty bad. zen. It's not my boss music. There it is. Oh. Now we're gonna jazz it up here. Yeah, we're gonna jazz I it up I am now. so glad I saved all of my spell slots and sorcery points for this. All right. I'm going to eviscerate him. Snowflower, <laughs> it is now your turn. You're at the top of the round here. I will move the Yeti out of the way so we don't have to worry about him. Actually, no, we're gonna leave him. He's difficult terrain. Yeah. All right, Snow will be right here, and he's like, you have forced my hand, and he takes out his plunger. You pull out the plunger of wonder, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys watch as as um, as Snowflower pulls from their jacket a strange device, otherworldly, otherworldly in nature, a long stick of wood, and then a strange rubbery appendage at the end. I need you to roll a d20 for me. <laughs> Oh, not this shit again. That's a two. Whoa. Uh, all right, so you shoot it at him and immediately your world blinks and you and Lawrence swap places and you right. land on the ground and Lawrence's like, huh? That takes your action to use that. Oh, uh, now okay. I'm really gonna kick uh, your butt. Let me see if I have any bonus actions real fast. Can I make the plunger, like, stronger with the shillele thingy? The, uh... You could use it as an improvised weapon if you'd like. I would love to do the shillele. Oh, uh, you're not in front of him, though. You swap places with him. So oh, but I want to... Oh, can I, like, just make it stronger the next time I get to him? It's like that? Or do I have to actually wait? My next uh, point? bonus act. Yeah, you have to wait. See if you've empowered your weapon at this point. Okay, all right. I'll just hit him next time. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, it is now his turn. And he is gonna take, he rises up that mace, which now you realize isn't so much a mace as it is a scepter. Uh, he is going to cast, I think he's gonna wanna cast that, yeah. He's gonna cast Misty Step as a bonus action. And poof, reappears over here. And he takes the scepter uh, pointing face down and he cracks it into the ice. And as he does, two other forms of himself pop out from the ground, also wielding scepters. No one gets uh, a cross rope like that. It's so cute. shell game. I, I also forgot to go Obewa Moshi Nuru. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, that ends his oh, turn. Either. That brings us to Blennis. Also, can you guys hear, still hear the music? It's glitching on my head. So I yes. can hear it. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Can hear it. As long as Kurt can hear it, that's that's what matters. Uh, so Blennis, it is now your turn. You currently have an icicle penguin currently waving a similar scepter in its hand. So it's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. I'm going to do something I didn't even do last time. Quicken spell. I'm All turning right. one action to a bonus action. And I'm going to cast Magic Missile solely at our little friend here in the middle. Little friend there in the middle. All right. You spin the magic in your hand and you cast it at him as the Magic Missile <laughs> smacks him against his blubbery face. It takes eight points of damage. That makes much. All right, he that gets hit. That was also hit. a level one spell. Nice. Okay. 
Oh, right, I have to. Okay, you're good. Yeah. For a second, but I got that's not all. Since that was my bonus action, I'm going to cast it again as a regular action, this time at level two. Woo! Ooh, 16 points of damage. I will roll here. Okay, you're good. Uh, 16 points of damage. Val City is not happy with Penguin Boy. You guys just watch as, as Lawrence poofs on the other side, kind of has this big, wide, sort of mischievous grin on his face. Like he's loving, he's reveling in this. Um, you watch this just from Val City and just a barrage of missiles just just comes out and the penguins just staggering like uh, uh, kind of dizzy uh you definitely have done some damage to him pew, 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 pew. Hmm. needs more daka i in my <laughs> turn okay Osser, it's now your turn all right real quick here uh no not that funny uh how do i judge distance uh it's a sidebar there's like a ruler there so it from is. you, 25, 30, 25. You do have to walk around this object in the center, though. It is. It so is I can a, reach a... either of the icicle clones in one move, but I can't reach him. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I was going to go for, for the icicle clone here. Okay. What? And while I'm doing that, I'm pulling it. I'm swapping the great sword for the ball. Can't cut ice. And. That's a that absolutely hits. All right. 13, 13 damage for the ice sculpture. You take out its head, you just swing your maul to the side, and you just smash its head, and it just shatters into pieces, but it's still functioning. It's still able to move, and it's, it, it seems to be in complete control. I'm gonna uh, look, I'm gonna look at Lawrence. Looks like I get to find out what you taste like after all. Oh, I forgot to get this clone's numbers. One second, maybe get this clone's numbers the There we go. So that's whew, decent amount of damage, but decent damage to that one. Okay. Oh, my music just kicked back in. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, you, you thoroughly shatter it. Actually, I'm gonna make. Can I do that? Use that bonus action to uh, shout that and intimidate him? Uh, or is that just straight action? I'd say that would be an action. Okay. Uh, I'd also say at this point, he's on a power trip. That would be with disadvantage. He's not scared. He is currently, he feels like he's in complete control at the moment, so. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah. Um, all right, that brings it to uh, Ghost. It is now your turn. Okay, I'm gonna run up. Oops. I'm gonna run up, I'm gonna go here, and I'm okay. gonna cast Shatter. Okay. Which? Ooh. Uh, Ooh, yeah. you got two eights. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just quickly double read Shatter real super fast. How do I? I can probably. Oh, you're I got doing it, it for me. I'm okay. doing it for you, yeah. Thank you. Uh, 10 foot radius sphere centered on that point. So you have a 10 foot sphere. I measured. It's so only going to hit the off. two clones. The two clones? Okay. Above me, yeah. Well, one is Lawrence himself, so that's still a decent chunk of damage there. That's what I mean, uh, yeah. But they have to roll constitution checks. Let me grab Lawrence's constitution here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a natural 20 for him. He'll still take half what? damage. The clone definitely fails. So the clone takes full 18 points of damage which brings it to that much health. And then Lawrence takes half, which is still nine points, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, and the orb nearby also takes damage, it shatters. And the um, the vulnerable fey wormling inside uh, it, it staggers to breathe a bit. Trying uh, not to be a rule lawyer or anything, but being made of ice, wouldn't the uh, clone take extra damage from shatter? Not these ones, no. Okay. They're like that. They're, Ice from before, I guess. Yeah, they're made ice. by that same ice. Uh, all right. And so... I don't think I have really any... Good... Bonus action, not really. Yeah. You can move, but you've used your movement, basically. So. Yeah, I'm, that's it. Okay. Uh, Snowflower, it is now your turn. Oh, you're it's being... my turn. You're a little dizzy from being swapped around a bit, but uh, you're good to go. Your, your Plunger of Wonder has two more charges in it, by the way. Alrighty. Uh, he... Alrighty. Uh, 
right. Wait, wait. Is the orb gonna be like in the way if I move this way? Uh, no, you're good. All right, I'm gonna move. I keep almost clicking on the mayor program. Uh, I'm gonna just move right here. All right. And I wanna use shle You're gonna smack him. I'm gonna smack him right in the face. Uh, you say I don't know what weapon this would be. Uh, let's just go with this, just a straight strength check. Yeah. Uh, you don't hit him. Uh, Dang. Shillelagh allows, uh, Snowflower to use the spellcasting ability rather than strength would make me a melee. Oh! Oh, okay. really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I forgot uh, you. Let me do that again. Uh, so what's your spellcasting, uh, modifier? As a druid, it would be a wisdom. Oh, wisdom. Yeah, it's yeah. wisdom. And it's... 16? Or do I have to do spell save DC? Your, your, not your spell save DC, let me take a look here. It is your two attack AC. Oh. So for that, it would be plus five instead. All right. So you rolled a 12 plus five, and then, yeah, that'll hit. Okay. And your weapon die becomes a D8. All right, D8. And you also add your wisdom modifier instead of your strength modifier to the damage. Okay. Uh, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Shalili's pretty crazy for low level. Okay, so one D8 plus three, right? Yeah. All right. All right, six Damn. points. You slap that penguin across the side of his face. You just backhand with the, him with the plunger, yeah. With the plunger. There's a thwack <laughs> noise as you do so. Um, that ends your turn, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. I'll use the plunger next round, I promise. All right. So, uh, to start off, uh, Lawrence is going to use his staff to cast two spells. Uh, he is going to start by casting Sleet Storm. Um, so... Uh, oh, not this shit again? Yep. Uh, a cloud forms in the center topmost part of this chamber and begins to spew out ice and snow. The ground becomes slick and slippery. Uh, I need everybody... Uh, actually, not everybody. 40 foot radius. He's gonna probably put it smack dab in the middle of this fight. Yeah, he is. Um, I need everybody to make a um, a dexterity saving throw, including the enemies as well. 15? Okay. Eight. Let me find a spell save. Three! Three. What, the natural 20 on the other side? Isn't that random? Oh, random. Only you oh, have the advantage. The other one survives. All right, this, this guy falls prone. Uh, Ghost, the sudden appearance of the slick ice, you are also, um, you fall prone as well. Oh boy. Uh, poor Valcinian, as you're just like, haha, like blowing your, your, your fingers like a gun, like you just shot out your magic missile, you immediately just front face, uh, smack your head. Um, Oster, you just take your, your clawed lizard feet and just dig into that ice. You are like, nope. Um, and yeah, Snowflower, you as well. You slip and you fall with a terrible crack. Um, and sadly, our good friend here rolled a 19, so he's fine. And his buddy here rolled a 16, so he's fine. My back. Uh, and then for his second spell, uh, he is going to cast uh, Armor of Agathus on himself. So you watch Snow as you crash to the ground. The penguin stands above you, his chest puffed out, scepter in his hand. And you watch his ice, his armor begins to form with these ice. It kind of becomes like like World of Warcraft armor in a way. <laughs> just kind of growing from his shoulders as he's just like... <laughs> Look out, he's got shoulder pads. He's a death knight, I knew it. Oh, uh, no. This icicle penguin is going to attack you, ghost, as you're prone. Great. That's, that's a 19, unless he gets a 20. Yeah, that's definitely gonna hit. That's a 22 to hit you. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, that is six points of bludgeoning damage as he just brings down the mace on your bird knee and you hear a cracking noise. Oh. Mm. Uh, and that will end their turn. Uh, except for this guy is going to get up actually with his movement. Uh, and he's gonna take a swing at you, Oster. 
Uh, and he's gonna miss completely. That's a four. He the the icicle without having a head kind of swings like a kid with a pinata, just like kind of swinging wildly. He does not hit you at all. Uh, that ends their turn, which brings us back to Glennis. Uh, you've fallen right on your butt. I assume it's just movement to get back up. Uh, yeah, it's just movement to get back up. Then Valsinian's going to get back up. He's going to glare at Lawrence. Oh, I'm not done with you, blubber boy. He's going to cast Firebolt, but he's also going to twin spell it. Okay. That's one sorcery point. So that that, that hits. That just hits, barely. Want me to throw another Firebolt and then roll damage for both? Yeah. So let's roll another Firebolt. That hits definitely as well. Okay. Five and nine. Uh, perfect. Wow. Uh, you actually, like, as you hit him, you hear a hissing noise as his armor that he's, he's sort of donned himself is kind of melts a little bit and then reforms. He takes 14 points of damage. That is nothing to sneeze at. Brings him down to that. Ugh, he kind of staggers and he yells to his minions. He goes, kill the Bane! Like, points to them and they both, the one with the head turns and the other one with the head, you assume, turns. Uh, does that end your turn? Uh, yes, I cannot do anything else. All right. Osser, it's now your turn. The penguin in front of you seems to turn and shift its attention to the um, sort of uh, vulnerable worm fay in the center there. Pay attention! Uh, that hits it. The ice ones aren't wearing armor, so. Oh, that's a die reroll. I get to reroll one of my d6. Okay, so you got a three. Uh, okay, oh, so it's, 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 it becomes nine. Yeah, it becomes oh. nine. All right, you swing around your mall and you smash into it. It becomes nine, which brings it to that. It's looking very damaged. You smash off its arm, but it still has the arm with the scepter and it appears to be dedicated to moving forward at the moment. Um, that brings us to Ghost. It is now your turn. Hold on for a second. Hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. If I were to take the attack of opportunity, could I use the bonus action to scoop up the pay? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, so eat the attack of opportunity. Okay, it's going to swing at you. Uh, that is a 16 to hit you. Yeah, that makes it. Makes it. Wait, are you trying to kill the pay? No. Uh, well, it rolled low on its damage. You take, uh, you take two points of bludgeoning damage as it hits you right in the butt on your way out. Uh, you push back the glass and you grab the fey, you kind of grab it into your chest. Uh, it's very cold. Uh, I actually need to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, you, you better feel... appreciate this, you little worm. You, you have frost. 26. Yeah, 26. The frost spreads on you, but you're so manly and lizardly, you can't be stopped. You, you clutch it in your chest. Do you want to use the rest of your movement to move away, or...? Yeah. Let's see here. So that was 10 feet. So yeah. I could probably move to about here. All right, you move up next to, uh, up next to the bleeding out Yeti at the moment. Um, that ends your turn. Ghost, it is now your turn. My one turn has to be, like an action would be me getting up, correct? No, it, half your movement, so. Okay, um, so I can get up and attack or? Yep, yep, you can. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm gonna, I think this is something I can cast. I'm gonna do Wrath of the Storm. Okay, click, click that for me. I know it's got, I think, a prerequisite for it. I think I clicked it. I clicked it in a the trunk. There we go. Oh. Can you see it? Click the uh, speech bubble. Yeah, click oh, the speech bubble. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Uh, when a creature within five feet of you, you can see, hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to cause the creature to make a dexterity save. Oh, is it only a reaction? Yeah, so it's, if they hit you, you can, you can use this. Okay, never mind, I'm not doing that. Sorry, I didn't read it completely. It's all good. <laughs> My bad. In the Wrath of the Storm, would you use to cause that avalanche? No, it was, no. it was, it was shatter. It was oh, shatter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I yelled really loud and an <laughs> You went, ah, and then the snow was like, oh, I see. <laughs> You said right. what about my mother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Instead, I will do Guiding Bolt to attack okay. Middle Boy there. Can attack Lawrence? Yeah. All right, you do hit him. Um, 
And I can cast it at different levels, correct? Uh, you can, but it looks like you cast it at the lowest level at the moment. I don't think you have access to the higher levels just yet for that one. Then I'll just leave it at one. Okay. 16. Nice. Nice, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, and you now all have advantage uh, to hit him as well. Omaiwa uh, Moshindu. So he has got advantage on him. That is a lot of damage. Lawrence is definitely looking a bit beat up at this point. Um, and he's just screaming, Go, Mithids, kill the Fae! What are you doing? Like he's shouting at them. <laughs> uh, Snowflower, it is now your turn. Uh, you hurt your back even more. I can't say anything since it's not my turn, correct? It, like, no. call out something. It's fine. Uh, yeah, he's going to use the plunger again. Okay. Not as, like, the shillelagh, but at the actual plunger. Are you going to stand up before you do that? You'll have to stand up first before you oh, do yeah, that. Yeah, he, he stands up. Kind he's a crack his, his okay, back a bit. Like, mm. Hopefully it wasn't, hasn't been, been loud for too long. Sorry, guys. I hope that wasn't loud for too long. Not really, it's good. Uh, it was well, for, 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 for the viewers, for the though, I don't know. Yeah, Makes hopefully sense. it wasn't too loud for them. All right, so just 1d20? Uh, yeah, 1d20. For plunger. 10. 10. Ooh, that could be right away. Uh, oh my god. So I, I also, I thrust the uh, the plunger into his face. Oh no. Okay, uh, one second, I gotta figure out. Wow, literally everybody. Everybody roll a charisma saving throw. Oh no! Son of a... Wait, Monty, does this count as a magical effect? Uh, yes. Son of a... No oh, cunning. No. I have advantage. All right, you have advantage on this. 23. Okay. Uh, wow. Uh, Snowflower, that includes you as well. The okay. phase is pulling its... The phase is pulling its weight. Should be helping me protect myself. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, well, why? Everybody, <laughs> literally everybody, except, no, except for you, you are the Ooh. only one. You are all now dancing. You <laughs> all <laughs> burst into dance. You uh, are urged to dance, including Lawrence, who's doing like happy feet, and like the sculptures are currently like doing spins and stuff. Uh, Oster, you're kind of kicking your feet up. You even see the dead Yeti's foot kind of twitch a little bit. Um, <laughs> we're all now dancing uh, for this entire round of combat. So, hooray. Um, I yeah. guess that means it's my turn now. I, I think so, yeah. He, uh, Snow yeah, is not good at turn. dancing, by the way. He's, but he's doing it... dad dances. <laughs> she like the snappy finger dance. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, that actually brings us to Lawrence, um, who his dance ends uh, for him, which means sadly Guiding Bolt stops working. Uh, and all of, minions, okay. all of his minions stop. Uh, that brings us to Valenus. It brings you back to you as Lawrence is like, <gasps> what was that? Dance to your know. grave, little shit. But it amused me greatly. But you know what would amuse me even more? Hmm? You dying. Magic missile all on Lawrence again. <laughs> all right. How many? Now, I have dying? a question. D points. How many sorcery points do you have left? Because you've used quite a few. Uh, sorcery points are separate from my spell slots. Yeah. My sorcery points are all gone. But casting at a higher okay. level, just right, like right, a no. spell Here. slot, correct? Yeah, no, just a spell Would slot. Would I be able to cast that at level two with one level two spell slot remaining? Yep, absolutely. Then I'm going to smash his stupid little beacon. Oh boy. Four magic Whoa. missiles. Oh. And you do, you do so quite successfully. You turn your hand and as he's like, he stops dancing, he's like, <sighs> and he looks up to you, you just fire a barrage of missiles at him and this penguin blasts up against, um, the melee damage. Um, the magic missile blasts into this penguin right in his chest and he smacks up against the wall and falls down face first onto the ground. And Elsinian it, will call out, grab the scepter. And as you do that, all of these sculptures shatter in place and stumble onto the ground. Is Are we dead? still dancing? Wait, is he dead? He's got an you're X all, on him. You're all dancing and then you stop. And then you're fine. 
I'll send him to move over and immediately try to grab that scepter. Uh, Oster, you're still cradling the, the Fae? I basically have it wrapped around my neck at this point. Okay. It's so cold. Give it it's... to me. What? I got feathers. I'm a little warmer. All right. Um, as you guys go over, you rip the scepter from his hand. Who grabs it? I will try to grab it. Okay, uh, you grab it, and as you hold on to it, you feel a rush of winter wind running through your blood. You feel the power of north wind and ice. You feel the reflection of clean ice, refracting light. You feel powerful as you hold the scepter. And weakly next to you, you hear, please, please, I don't have very long. Return it to me, I beg of you. Oh, we're doing this, are we? Well, what if I took this scepter and handed it to you because you're clearly dying? Here you go. <laughs> you, you hand it. You like. You go to hand it. You're like, it doesn't have arms. Um, and 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 the fae looks at you. I will open my mouth, please. Place the scepter inside, and she yawns. Her mouth opens. You see, even inside, it's all crystalline glass. Balsinian will do his request. Okay, Somehow I, I thought of firmly cr- <laughs> Like, like, uh, weirdly enough, like a sword going into a sheath, it just goes in um, all the way up, and you let go, and Osir, the creature in front of you begins to, like, shake and, and move. Uh, you get the sense you probably shouldn't be holding onto it for very much longer. Yep. Down on the ground. All right. You place the Fey onto the ground, and uh, the structure around you begins to shake and tremble and and shift, and like pieces of ice are crashing down. Lawrence's body gets crushed under a piece of ice. No, I wanted to eat that. Uh, the entryway now is starting to cave in as the structure is about to fall, and you get the sense if you stick around much longer, well, you're not going to stick around much longer. So far, we gotta get, get out of here. Move, move, move. All right, let's if, any, go. If, if two people want to grab the Yeti head, you'll have to both make strength checks to grab the, he- the Yeti head on your way out. Just as a little bit of flavor, I'm going to use another level one spell slot for expeditious retreat. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> help. Run away! The Yeti spell. Head. Alrighty, you guys run out. Uh, you want to help with the Yeti head? Roll a strength check. Hey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you grab it and like like people g- dragging a big overfilled like garbage bag. Uh, Osser and Snowflower, you guys grab it. You start dragging it out um, eventually, and the entire structure <laughs> collapses, uh, including that contraption. Um, and as it collapses, you guys sit down on the snow. You hear this glorious roar, almost echoing across the mountain. This howl of victory as you see a large, crystalline, almost wyvern-like serpent coil around the remains of their once cave. You see beautiful ice, their teeth, their eyes, everything. And they perch themselves on top, talons of shards of ice. Almost like, you ever see those glass sculptures where people use, like, glass? To yeah. Make, like, mm. yes. Basically that, except for this, this pink and purple and blue ice. And they bring up their wings and almost revel in the sunlight. And they look down to you and they go, thank you ever so much. I don't know what I was going to do when that thief stole away my power. Question. Serendaru, your name doesn't really suit you. It seems beneath you, honestly. (laughs) You may have saved my life, but flattery will only get you so far, gnome. Well, to be fair, you're a dragon. I'm a gnome. These are things we must do to survive, yes? Surely Though I look much like a dragon, I am not, in fact. I am a fey creature. I am a serpentine fey creature. The name does fit. <laughs> Snow raises his hand. Yes, you have mountain-born. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> um, how did the penguin take you stick? Well... Every once in a while, the villagers down below are kind enough to leave me an offering, and I did consume one, and I fell into quite a deep sleep, 
As I awoken, I noticed a form, a penguin-like form, waddling away from my sleeping spot. I could only assume it was one so greedy from the village. I began to weaken fast and use the remains of my power to summon a few allies to search for me. Bears in the nearby area who I've befriended over time. Also, what happened to Maurice, my yeti guard? I don't see him. Oh uh, my god. Where is <laughs> we are? Uh, we have some so bad news sorry. about Venus as well. was crazy, man. Okay, he went nuts and beheaded your yeti friend? It was brutal. Roll a deception yeah. check. Oh god. <laughs> uh, I think it's kind of hard to like be deception because I think all the yeti blood is clearly oh, on stone flower. <laughs> Uh, good luck, by the way. I just rolled there, so. I got a seven. What? I, um... Why I'm, would you I'm lie? joking! Ha <laughs> ha! The Faye, like, turns... It's got a very long neck. It kind of, like, slithers down to face and goes, I'd like you right now. I wouldn't change that if I were you. I have almost died due to a liar, and I'd rather not deal with one again. Sorry. I'm sorry. We I suppose it. you'll be wanting this back, then. No, you can keep it. He was just an intern. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't yeah. expecting that, but um, you said you befriended those polar bears, correct? Indeed. Well, I more or less uh, used them, in a sense. I was quite desperate, as you can see. Befriended, quote-unquote. Okay, so no hard feelings about Dennis? Who's Dennis? Exactly. Let's go with that. <laughs> Very well. I do feel a corruption coming from the village. It appears that the one who stole away my power may have used it to harm others. I will reverse this effect with what strength I've regained. I ask only for a safe passage for you down the mountain. And she basically, like, with one wave of the wing, creates kind of like a slide of, of snow and ice for you that kind of goes... Slide. Yeah, it goes all the way down. Oh. Great. I wish I had something to reward you with, but I suppose this will have to do. I don't suppose there's anything left of that corpse, is there? Hmm. What? The Yeti head's nice. No, not the not the Yeti corpse. Uh, what? Can... No, he's talking yes. about the penguin. Oh yeah, she grabs it. Uh, the head disappears into the rubble and kind of like some ice chunks fall, and then eventually in her maw she has this bashed up, beaten penguin dick guy, asshole. He was, he sucked. Um, and she just bleh, spits it out and just thunk, 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 lands in front of your feet. You could make a stew out of that. I can't believe you want to eat him. Jesus he looks, Christ. he looks tasty before. I'm sure he's perfectly fine. That's gross. Just a little flat. You nasty. Mind you flat. don't absorb he his... <laughs> yeah, he's got straight up just destroyed. I thank you for your aid for me. There are much corruption in the Northlands now. It helps to be vigilant. No problem. Probably uh, gonna be here for one, a while. One final question, said Indaru, if I may. Yes, one of short stature, but great bravery. <laughs> now, you know this area very well, I assume, which, you know, probably stupid question. Were Maybe. you aware of that enchanted mansion that was causing a massive blizzard around this area? I am aware of the mansion of Lady Corrine. It was one such corrupted area. I kept my distance and warned the other villagers to do so as well. Well, you won't have to worry about it anymore because we kissed that ghost and then killed him. The mansion yes. is no more. And I, I stole his plunger. I think I've been inside for far too long, and I think I'd like to go back inside. The world is far more bigger than I remember. Um, <laughs> what the hell is a plunge? She just shakes her head. He, like, he actually I'm... has it held up to show. It. It's this. I don't um, know what of that truth. is. I don't know what it does, but when you like put it on the ground and then put it back up, something happens, and it's kind of cool. Well, I've tied, by this point, I've tied the Yeti head to my back, and I've got Lawrence's crushed, flattened corpse all rolled up and ready to go down the slide. Yeah, you have to, you can roll it up like a sleeping bag. You can roll it like a sleeping bag. In fact, you could probably slide down the hill with it. That's terrible. That's sad. You probably could. It's you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Uh, um, can I ask one thing, Sindaru? 
Yes. You haven't, by chance, seen other uh, snowy owl kenkus around this parts, have you? There was one that visited me many years ago. No. You, but older. But it was a long time before yours. All right. Thank you. No problem. Him. He uh, he pets ghosts. It's okay. Uh, yes, no pets ghosts. Right. Thanks, now. Farewell. Hey. And tell the village elder I don't need any offerings for a while. I'll be okay. And they fly off. They actually get into the air and they actually fly away. Thanks Val for the slide. Will slap his face and then think, I should have lashed about the frosted iron. <laughs> Damn me. Ah, well, anyway. Um, I got what I wanted. Who goes first down the slide? We. <laughs> the Osser. Osser's <laughs> like, you say, who wants to go down slide? And that is the moment you say slide, Osser's like already going down. <laughs> <laughs> on the penguin. You hear this disgusting meat grinding gross noise uh, as you're going down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Snowfall is going to use his cape to slide down because he does not want that on his pants. That's yeah, cool. there's blood all over the slide now. Uh -huh. Can we all him ride on Snowflower? Yes, he's allowing the small ones to ride on him. <laughs> Wee. Wee. <laughs> you guys slide down the mountain. It's actually crazy fun. At one point, you go into the mountain, you do like a loop de loop, and then you come out the other side. Eventually, you actually ride right into the middle of the village. You kind of jump, bounce, 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 and then land face first. And as you guys land, you see now all those little penguin kenkus who are all frozen in ice are now shaking their heads, kind of confused, and looking towards you. And you see just kind of the door of the longhouse open as the elder kenku steps out and goes, stand back, stand back. And he steps forward to you and looks at you all, kind of leers his neck, like strains his neck up to look at you, Snowflower, and then strains his neck down to look at you, Valenus. You must be the ones who have saved us. How do you know After that? After a faction. Because you were frozen, how could you possibly know that? Because you went to seek the aid of Saren Yaru. He's frozen. Were you able to hear dead. everything the entire time you were frozen? No, we saw you come down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, then. then. You heard nothing. You, you, heard left, a, you nothing. left a blood trail of, of some questionable source. I assume that's you, and I mean that lizard is just covered. Oh my god, that's my son. Yes, he was a dick, stole the Fae's power, and tried to keep it for himself. Froze all of you, by the way. And all the, all the, all the penguin kenku kind of grumble, and there's like one little baby who's just like, ah! like just, ah! like just running around, like just screaming <laughs> randomly. <laughs> it's okay, you didn't do bad as a parent. He was just a dick. Wait, I don't know. Wait. Hmm, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the chieftain, like, turns to the other penguin kenku goes, Come! Let us feast! I'm starving! I feel like I haven't eaten in days! And all the, the, the penguin kenku cheer. They invite you in, they give you drink, they give you food. Oster, you eat the penguin body, assumedly out of the eyesight of the other penguin I was kenku. about to say, I'm actually gonna stay outside and prepare a stew of Lawrence. Yeah, everyone else is, like, partying inside, and, like, you got Oster's, like, <laughs> like, cutting up. <laughs> the You're remains crazy. of Lawrence, like a crazy person. <laughs> it's so weird. There's food inside, and you're out <laughs> here eating the damn penguin. It's symbolic. <laughs> a penguin that was coughed up by a fae, by the way. Just to add that in. Mm -hmm. Really gross. Um, and you guys are treated to drink. You guys are treated to more dance, except you know of your own volition. Um, and food. They give you, uh, everybody gets two rations as well. Yeah. Um, and you're able, they, they let you keep all the items you took from their village. They're okay with that. Um, I like I got a lot. Rosinian I want to look will hand the bell back though. Yep. Okay, they, they happily take the bell back and by giving back the bell, they will give you 50 gold pieces as well. <gasps> Each or, or just for everyone? For everybody. This is a small village. Um, However. They they give it to you and they go. We 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 received that from some so some sailors from the from the from the south, but we have no use for it. You can't eat it and you can't kill a bear with it. So. <laughs> I actually want to look for. Keeping. Oh, sorry. 
I actually want to look for a craftsman to see if I can't get this Yeti head carved out into a helm. Uh, that would be a check for later. I think you would need some tools for that. Uh, leather working tools. Well, that's why I was very... particularly looking for one of the village craftsmen. There really isn't. There's fishermen. Um, there's like some guards. Then how this... did they make the whalebone charm? Determination. Mm. Yeah. It was a group town effort. I'm sure. It seems it's much smaller scale to what than what you're trying to achieve. There's no real blacksmith, no real armorer there. There's probably uh, like five houses, okay. Yeah, this it's like a few tents and like two big houses more for a hangout area and like a couple igloos. Now I feel even worse. They don't even live in houses. Some of them live in tents. And igloos. <laughs> I swear by the end of this I'm going to have a new hat. <laughs> you work at it. And that is actually where we're going to end the session. Yeah. Um, as you guys yeah. remain in the Penguin Kenku village, uh, which is called uh, Pugu. I don't know why, but it's called Pugu. Pugu. Pugu village. And that is where we will end the session for tonight. Hopefully Curtis is here so he can jump in. Kurt, brother, brother. Time to text him. Brother. Brother. Keeping that blueprint. Hello? Yeah, you guys have that. All right, we can probably cut Hello? recording then. Yeah. Stop right. recording. Yeah, stop your recording there. All right. Bye, Bye. Austin. Okay. Goodbye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Save that right away. Bye, Austin. Bye. They so, ex export it as MP3, right? Yeah. Winter one-off is what I would call this. As an MP3, not a wave. Kurt, Kurt's dead. Kurt died. Oh. <laughs> hey guys, hey chat. I guess I can open up <laughs> the stream now. <laughs> yeah, you guys can. Oh, I don't have lame. God damn it. One off. It's, it's a short one now. off. But yeah. It's exporting as a WAV file. Talk is, is dead. Oh, I could I could just do a WAV file. WAV file, uh, MP3, I think. I I'm can't doing remember an MP3. Exactly. I'll do a WAV because I didn't download Lame. I will text Kurt. Yeah, I don't have the plugin for MP3, so it'll have to be WAV. Uh, I will save the project, however, so I can export it again if need be. You guys get all this fun yeah, I'll save it extra too. shit. <laughs> Curtis, we're done the game. We need you back in Discord, please. I, I like that you're not even writing it. You're telling, like, Siri to... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like to text a lot. So I just talk into my phone like a crazy person. So, yeah. I go out to export. That was a big file. Yeah, it's a big file. It takes a bit. Uh, even longer to send it, but yeah, no. I, I know we it's not the regular schedule, the Unexpectables, but uh, we're very happy that people people came and, and checked it out. Um, we This is just something, I mean, we could have done nothing, um, but I felt like it'd be good to do something. Um, uh, oh, God, he's here. Oh, uh, I was. I was in the other room for a sec there. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Did y'all have fun? Did y'all have I fun? Hope that, back? I hope it was lots of fun. It was. He was really so. I still don't believe that's uh, his real voice. I believe I believe he is actually just stock voice from a game that's not been released yet. I firmly <laughs> believe that. Arkov? Yes. Yes, that's Man. the only one. I plead the fifth. Oh, oh come on now. That's that's just an admission of guilt. Anyways, uh, why did you need me back? You're like, you need to come back right now. It wasn't for we're my. We're done. Time. We're oh, done. Oh, it is. You're done. What? What is yeah, that? I thought, we thought you were watching. Also, hopefully that music thing wasn't a huge issue. That's why we kind of want people to watch, so make sure that things oh, are okay. No, 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 no. None I, of us had Twitch chat open, so that's we I couldn't saw, do that. I saw, I saw it after a minute or two. It's fine. Don't worry about it. When well, you messaged me, it was not a minute or two. It was halfway through like, the fight, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't notice the compl I didn't notice the complaints until... Okay, hopefully, hopefully it was okay. I'm just a little concerned that it was too loud. Um, and people couldn't hear the game, so I hope, I hope, I hope not. Well, they can always check out the podcast version. There's gonna be a podcast version, yeah, exactly. There's gonna be a, a side, exactly. side well, episode. Exactly. By the way, the chat has decided on a name for you guys. Oh, what's that? Oh. The Unpredictables. <laughs> oh, I like it! That's I cute. love it! <laughs> it wasn't too loud? Okay, good. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, I was like, oh no. Yeah, no, it's just, it was, it was just... I imagine if it loud. wasn't super loud for us, it wasn't super duper loud for chat either. It might have been a little yeah. bit loud. Um, like, like I was able to turn it down on my end, so I'm good. Oh, I didn't oh, even touch bold. it. It was okay for me. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like a little loud, but like, 
it was that the volume where it like doesn't bother you at all you know gotcha. yeah i apologize for speaking over anyone during that it happens it's, it's, it's fine it yeah, it does, it, yeah. Do, it does happen speaking of which speaking of talking over one another how about another segue that doesn't make sense three two one a gmo thank you for the one thousand bits <laughs> there were a lot of bit drops guys there's no way to get around was there here. There were a lot also, of, uh, there's a particular there's set. a stream glitch on your screen where there's cupcakes yes. trapped in the corner. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to fix that, and I, I tried okay. to touch it midway through the stream, just like ah, oh, it's just there, I guess. For now. <laughs> oh, I see uh, it. <laughs> all right, but I think we, I think you, I think we can definitely uh, call it the unpredictables. I think that's a good way of calling it. That way, it keeps you guys yeah. separated a little bit from the unexpectables, which is good. But it's in the same universe, which is unpredictable. But. I would like to do a couple quick shout-outs here to Blackfoot Ferret for dropping a combined 28,000 bits during this oh, session. Wow. Yeah. Which is incredibly, incredibly kind of you, Blackfoot Ferret. Thank you so much. Blackfoot Ferret was having lots of fun filling up that cup and then dropping it. Helix Ox for a combined 11,500 bits. Crazy kind of you as well, Helix. Helix getting, doing a bunch of shout-outs for Arkolf during the session, too. Legic, Pizza Time, Zoax, 10,000 bit drops, Rosso 06, claiming the bit boss status, then losing it promptly in the war. Thank you so much, Rosso 06, for 7,000 bit drop, Penguin Man 0913 for a combined 28,000 bits, Yakadooka Party for 25,000, Woosel Moosel, 1,500, 2,500, sorry, 2,800, 2,800. 3200 Gboat, 1250. Codename Chaz, 1000. Skullfar, 500. Thank you. Like, this is. That was crazy kind of you guys. And there are mil so many subs, too. Episode you know what? They're all like, probate's busy in, in the game. He can't donate. Now's my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> the king is gone. Quick, everyone, act as fools. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to poop in the king's bed. bed. Just watch me. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Without the... guidance, they go mad. It's true. It's true, Probe. But thank you so much, everybody, for all the kind. Just a couple quick other quick shout outs here. A lot of uh, uh, B Hawk 300, thank you for the sub. A Viridian Winter, thank you for the six month resub. Glaceria, thank you for the 11 month resub. A great session, great characters, and very fun, entertaining. Absolutely. Zeus Moose, thank you for the sub. Sus Adlados, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. E Dragondale, thank you for the four month resub. I'm loving this crew. Ghost is the best little Alberb. <laughs> Azale Fold, thank you for the tier one sub. Kid and eh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for subbing as well. Uh Quit the Kid, thank you for subbing. Captain Actually, eleven month resub, thank you so much. Helix, seven month resub, thank you so much. Tabby Cato, thank you for the host. Platinum Raven, thank you for the four month resub. Corral, thank you for the eight month resub. Love you guys, and I'm glad. Oh, Platinum Raven said four months. Can't wait to see what happens tonight. And Corral says, Love you guys, and I'm glad to catch this live stream. Looking forward to this one shot. Furious Strat 87, thank you for the sub. And Slumbery Snorlax Place, thank you for the sub. D4C Trice, uh, thank you for the sub. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, <There> probate! <laughs> In my head. Probate! What? Probate! <laughs> You didn't. <laughs> Just say it. Oh, say it on chat. You're on live chat. Say what you wanted to say to the Jake as you came up behind him. Just to prove a point. <laughs> Just to prove a point. Manny Fram, nothing. Probate was... with a 25,000 bit drop. Just to prove a point. And I'm going to type something out to probate. Thank D you. D <laughs> ER0. Thank you, probate. <laughs> Uh, I will say this is sweaty. Animation. And he likes 5,000 bits. Great session tonight, guys. <laughs> Chat, make sure to go to follow all these lovely people on their individual streams and Twitter. Speaking of which, Sadie, were you going to segue into that? Uh, no, I was going to say, Sweaty Dynamite, who's a viewer, this is their first time ever watching The Unexpectables, which they you, you came in during a, 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 a spin-off uh, sort of uh, adventure. So I hope that you, you take, if you haven't watched the VODs already, I hope you watch the VODs, and I hope you catch us for one the uh, the unexpected stories continues in uh, the following week, not this coming week, but the week after now. So sorry, I just want to point that out because it's cool to have a you new year. You have no idea what's coming next week, apparently, because neither do mm -hmm. I. But thank you so much, Probate, for the twenty five thousand bits. And Probate, I think you should lead us off with plugging your stuff. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Probate. 
and you can find me on YouTube at the Foolish Streamer. I recently uploaded a playthrough of Telltale's Jurassic Park: The Game. Ooh. Ooh. They what? They made a I Jurassic Park. I didn't even know Park they game? had that. Yeah. I yeah, it's had... one of their lesser titles, to be quite honest. Oh, okay. Just like Back to the Future. Uh, yeah. Oh God, is it like Back to the Future? Oh, it, it's, uh, yeah. It's a lot more uh, quick time heavy. I'll tell oh, you. Oh no, much. that's the worst part of those games. <laughs> Which is to... why I played it, so you guys don't have to. to Yay, time to woo. give the time to give the illusion of gameplay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, pro. But pro. The are great though in that game. But no, this is going to be really awesome. Are you guys okay with the unpredictables for the name? The Everyone here in the sure. chat? I like yeah. it. I love yes. it. Yeah. That's pretty damn good. <sighs> uh, but Zeno, thank you for the 11-month resub. I came back from my game jam. We did great. Chat, yes, they did do great, Zeno. Thank you so much for complimenting the unpredictables. <laughs> I think he's talking about his game doing well. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, That's oh the, I see. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's called, doing a bit. It's called sarcasm. Kurt. Kurt, it's hard to tell sometimes, all right? <laughs> you, were raised, you were raised a mother and father. How are you not, like, why, why, why don't you have sarcasm vision? I know. I, I'm, I'm, I need to be, I need to, who am I? Uh, but Necrodrake, thank you for the sub. General Vastic, 200 bits. Happy fun stuff for everyone. SF Cody, thanks for the unexpected, unexpected fresh stream of the Unpredictables on a work night. That's awesome. But Colonel Cheru, where can they find you? You can find me at Colonel Cheru on Twitter and on Twitch. You should totally follow me. Wink, wink, cough, cough. No, don't That's do where it. you'll find giggle, me, though. Giggle. Don't do it. <laughs> don't. Don't. You might get exposed to decent gameplay and <gasps> quality content. You can have that. Yeah, I should be streaming. Uh, I'm making emotes for if you watch Overwatch League. I am now the official emo artist for Fisher from the LA Gladiator. So that oh, was really cool. That's really that's awesome. Radical. Yeah, and also possibly um, profit from London Spitfire. So I've been, it's oh. been a really good week. You have no idea, guys. Yeah, this week has been like awesome. And I'm happy to have a report that we actually have three of your amazing emotes. The yeah, no, and hi emotes. Like yes. Those, yeah, those those are in there. And those are done by Colonel Chair. She does good work. So congrats on that. That's super sweet. Thank you. Speaking of another talented artist, because we got several of them here in the chat. Monty Siggy. is pretty cool. Yeah, she is. I'll get to her in a sec. <laughs> Ma uh, Siggy. <laughs> Let's talk about Siggy Cool. Siggy Cool. What's up, Siggy Cool? Where can they find you? You can find me at Siggy Cool on Twitter and Twitch, and Mick Siggy on Tumblr. Uh, I make things. I make comics, and I do stream. Uh, I try streaming regularly, but it's kind of like on the weekends to Tuesday, maybe, depending. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, I mostly do art. That's that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's awesome, though. So that's great. So people can check that I out. I did a picture. Please look at it. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. The chat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty dang awesome. And Kratos, God of War, aka Arkolf, where can they find you, man? You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Arkolf. Okay, that is that is as well said. <laughs> That's what those all said. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Short, sweet, to the point. That is that is real. That is that is concise and a good read. But we need three takes, so twice more, please. <laughs> okay. That's a voiceover joke. Twitter. That's dad of boy. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everyone's just spamming Kratos. Ah! Heresy. Ah! Uh, but Monty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Monty Blue on, on Twitter. You can find me twitch.tv forward slash Monty Blue on, on Twitch. Um, and yeah, we'll have i have a very special plan for next week um i believe our current lineup is we're gonna have oh yeah uh current lineup is i have you mm -hmm. um a lanny pator who's yeah. nice enough to return uh senile snake and the return of bosco yeah uh, for next week and uh, there might be some hints on the twitter throughout the week um but nothing probably too official it'll be a huge surprise up until we stream so. i'm 
very curious because like so what do i what am i allowed to know nadine and you're like nothing i'm like oh fun that's fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's right guys next week lanny pator B edward bosco senile snake and myself will be doing a one-off that's right mm -hmm. All that's right. exciting and then the following week after that, we will be returning to the the regular uh, unexpectable schedule. So yep, uh, just just a, a bit of a bit of travel and a bit of events and things like that. And so it's it's all good. Um, I mean, we've been streaming the unexpectables like nonstop for a long time. So the fact that this is our first time, I mean, compared to some other D and D shows, I'm actually legitimately impressed. And I do want to say as well, thank you everybody, all the players today. Thank you for so much mm -hmm. for taking time out of your schedules. It's so short notice being able to make it tonight. Um, I, I really do appreciate that. I, when I, when I was thinking about what to do, I was a little overwhelmed. Um, but you guys all came together. You honestly saved me a ton of stress, which probably would have been bad considering everything else that's going on around with moving and whatnot. So I just wanted to extend a thank, thank you. Thank you, Monty, you for our life. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. opportunity. Yeah, yeah, so. The cool thing, a bee, a bee backup team for yeah. when <laughs> the <laughs> A-team is AWOL. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, cool no. fact, Warlock 101, 985, 1,000 bits probate, the meta bit boss. 320 Jima, 100 <laughs> bits, no bully the Monty. General Vash, 100 bits, more bits just cause, I guess. Very melancholy <laughs> bits there. But uh, guys, I guess this is it. We're going to raid someone here. <gasps> a uh, friend of mine, Anuki. She's very nice. And support Overwatch streamers, guys. So we're going to head over yeah. there. And she's playing She's playing dad of boy. So everyone go in there with them boy. Boy! <laughs> boy. All righty, guys. Thank you so boy. much all for coming here. And we will see you next week at 7 o'clock PST, 10 o'clock EST. Go, fight, Bye. fight, Later. fight.